Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want. And I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton, call us at 662-862-3711, or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Good afternoon and roll tribe ICC fans as ICC football is back on the air as Indy is getting set to square off with the Colin Wolves tonight. Both football teams looking for their first win of the season. I'm Adam Gore joined by the Mr. Jim Ingram who is joining us this week. Also got Dr. Brad Bobs. Boggs and then David Leathers is helping us out with stats tonight as well here in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation Broadcast booth and guys I tell you what it feels like football with the weather we've got tonight should be an exciting football game. Oh well, most definitely uh, you know you can just tell the atmosphere up here Mr. Ingram of how it is of course you know we've got some new signage over here that uh, that we're flashing out that community relations did uh, on top of our field house it looks wonderful you know it's a great night great weather here hey the band has marched in you know it was ready to get back to this type of atmosphere you know of course last year we know what we had uh, with the COVID year glad to get back to this atmosphere this year to where we got the full crowd in here a real college football experience no doubt about it brad glad, glad to be here tonight we're looking for our first victory of the year got a challenge tonight against cole in by the way both you guys did an excellent job last week i got to listen to some of the game you just didn't pull through at the end but i was proud of what y'all did but we got a nice weather as adam mentioned tonight and uh ready to roll well that's actually why we kicked cj out of the broadcast booth because we knew we didn't have that jimmy room magic tonight that we're going to have to be able to pick up this win when we come back with more of the davis ford pregame show we're going to step inside coach's corner and hear from coach sean cannon as lee adams had a chance to catch up with him earlier this evening uh to talk about tonight's matchup against the wolves of colin back with more right after this here on the icc sports network 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today 
tastes like we're a team. And it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want. And I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we saw Nick. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton, call us at 662-862-3711, or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. And welcome back to the Davis Ford pregame show. We are joined now by head coach Sean Cannon. All right, coach, let's uh, jump back in. Uh, last week uh, didn't start out the way we wanted, obviously, but you guys showed a lot of resiliency, came back, and uh, almost won that thing. Just touch a little bit on last week and uh, what you can take from that preparing this week. Yeah, you know, um, you, 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 you shoot yourself in the foot, really. I mean, that's kind of what really happened. You know, you go back and look at, you know, and then I, I'm, I'm, I'm never one to blame officials and all that stuff but I mean the, the 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 punt the punt there you know was was you know two guys sitting right there waiting to tackle the guy and get hit right in the back and you know it's not called you know and and, and you look at that as a major point you know turning point of the ball game you know and then we had the the rash of injuries there to start the game off and I don't know if our you know kids got a little bit shell shocked and everything and you know just uh, you know never want to start out of a game one like that but you know we, we did find a way to battle back take the lead twice but you know great teams figure out a way to keep that lead you know and, and that's just you know just part of growing up and you know and I think a lot of our guys that were the first time playing you know college football you know realize that this is hard you know uh, I think a lot of them just thought I was going to show up and it was going to magically happen for me, you know, and I think a lot of them grew up a lot, you know, from, from when we started there at the first quarter to the end of the game. And so hopefully we can get those get those jitters or whatever you want to call it out of the way this week and, and you know, and, and turn around on a short week and get ready to play a, you know, get ready to play a good, good cold end team. Now, one advantage this week that we have over last week is we do get to play at home. That is always a good thing. Uh, talking about Colin, they're coming off a week one loss as well. Talk a bit about what you know about Colin and uh, what kind of challenges they're going to bring. You know, I mean, just, you know, getting back on Sunday and able to, you know, to watch them a little bit and, you know, just kind of game one. And like I said, last year, you know, we didn't get to play them, you know, um, where the schedule had worked out and everything. And so really the first time I think we played them since – shoot 15 or 16 or something like that. It's been a while, you know, that they that they back on our schedule. But, you know, typically a great football team, got a lot of athletes, uh, you know, um, looking at their roster, they've got, you know, a pretty good balance of, of sophomores and freshmen and everything. And, you know, they, they, they had that, that road trip kind of like we did. You know, they came from the bottom to the top last week against, you know, to go to Senatobia and we went from, you know, Fulton all the way to Summit, you know, and they got to turn around this week and come back up here again, you know, uh, up, 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 you know, up this way. And so, you know, very dangerous team. You know, going to have like I said, a lot of good players, and and you know, typically they've always had you know had 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 a bunch of good 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 players, and so you know we we've got to make sure that uh, you know that that everything that we need to get buttoned up buttoned up, and you know that this this you know short turnaround we've had it's a little bit different. You know, usually if you get these Saturday to Thursdays, they're kind of in week seven, week you know week six or week seven during the year, but you have to turn around and go from week one to week two. So that's been a little challenge for us this week, kind of getting our kids back ready and focused again, but. You know, same thing I always tell them, you know, once we start playing, you look up, it's going to be week week six, week seven before we know it. And so here we are again, you know, getting ready to play another football game. All right. Now, you did open up on the road. Now, we're, like I said, we're back home this week. 
Uh, you know the energy is always going to be great. What's the, what's something that your older guys and the coaching staff have told these younger guys what to expect? Because it's a different atmosphere on the road and at home. Yeah, you know, and 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 really, you know, the the guys over here last year as far as our year one guys didn't get to experience that really, you know, like 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 it like it, like it should have been, you know, and and so. You know, we're looking for a great crowd to come out. You know, I know we got the freshman run there uh, to start the uh, start the season off there and everything. And you know, the band yesterday we were, you know, on the game field there or practice field practice, and they come by doing their little walk through for the game and everything. And you know, I think the kids, you know, re really got excited when they saw that coming up. So we're looking for a great great crowd there. You know, to come out and support our kids and you know family members and that type that type thing. And so I, you know, we're, we're anytime you. Uh, can play at home, it's always going to be a plus for your football team. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about what we learned uh, from week one uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Had two 100-plus uh, yard receiving uh, game there for Sanger and, and uh, Daniels, and had some uh, powerful runs there from Wilson and uh, Brooks. Talk a little bit about that offensive side of the ball and uh, what you guys are kind of trying to enhance this week and clean up from last week. Well, you know, you kind of look at what I talked about last week. You know, we're, we're, we went into the game not really knowing – you know, scheme wise, what these guys were going to do, you know, and, and, you know, the, they, they were playing a, you know, kind of a soft coverage area in the boundary. And so we kind of took advantage of it and just tried to throw the ball short over there and just try to make them, uh, you know, keep coming up, making us, you know, trying to come up make, and, and tackle us, you know, and, and, and then, you know, Sanger broke some, broke some, some great catches there and some runs, you know, we were hitting JJ there and trying to get that safety to come on down. And, you know, we hit him over the top there one time uh, on a fade ball and everything. And, you know, and, and, and you kind of look at the offensive line, you know, really the first time uh, our, our exterior players, I guess you'd say, our tackles and stuff really getting in the mix. And, you know, and, and, and you know, th that was a little bit different there to start the game. But, well, I think we settled down pretty good, started running the ball on there in the second half. And, you know, we can hang our hat on 12 and 32 for sure, you know, and we got to get some guys that are, you know, that we got to get them, get, got to get them coming along to give those guys a break, you know what I'm saying? And, and so hopefully this week in practice, I think our players realize that what I what what the correlation of practice is how we're going to play in a ball game, you know. And I think a lot of guys that did get a lot of reps last week realize that uh, I got to practice well, you know. And 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 so I think I've seen a lot of that this week on the offensive side, knowing that I've got a chance to make plays, but I've got to get in there and I've got to practice well, uh, go the right way, and all those things, you know that. Uh, that that you need to be able to get done. And uh, and and so I've seen a lot of different mindset and attitude of those guys but you know we're going to try to take what what they give us you know and, and when they load us up and you know and, and try to stop our run or, or or you know come get the quarterback we got to make them pay and I think we've got some really good receivers out there that you know that we knew that we're going to be good players and you know but but it's it's the kind of the next man up mentality I mean who's going you know who's going to shine this week because any good defensive coach is going to say, okay, we can't let five beat us, you know, so somebody else has got to step their game up this week to, 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 to if, if they start trying to, you know, put a double team on him, put a guy down and put a guy over the top of somebody else has got to make them pay, you know, and, and I think that's been the thing that our, uh, that we've talked to our kids about this week is somebody's got to, maybe you didn't have one or two catches last week or, you know, whatever, but, you know, this week could be your week, you know, and, and, and so you got to be able to answer that challenge when teams take away what you want to do to, to be able to counteract what they've, you know, uh, what they're taking away from, you know, but still got to be a staple running football. And I thought Dylan come in there and did a good job for us, of, you know, uh, of distributing the ball around and had a good touchdown run there, uh, you know, in the game there. And so, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of positives to build on that side of the ball. No turnovers, you know, that, that was key for us right there, but, um, you know that's something we got to be able to you know to take advantage of this week. You know, got to start fast. That's that's the thing I told him. I said, we can't put ourselves in a hole again. You know, and you know, and and, and being able to you know to, to, to come out and, to come out and play well uh, early in the game and put them down. You know, like 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 we were, and you know, and, and all those things. So you know, hopefully we'll be able to get that back on track this week and keep keep our momentum going. What we had in the second half. Okay, well, you mentioned that next man up mentality, and that was that was very evident on our defensive side of the ball this last week. Talk a little about what that experience uh, last week will do for your defense this week. Get yeah, ready. you know, a lot. Of, I think a lot of defensive players really didn't realize that you know I, I I got a chance to go in, and that's the thing we tell them all the time. You're, you're one play away from playing the rest of the ball game, you know, and, and and you look up what happened there on the first play of the game. You know, they they catch the ball and cut across the middle. We hit them, fumble, and the guy that scoops up the fumble goes down and. You know, here you go. Here's a guy that's got to come in and play the rest of the ball game. You know, and 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 probably in his mind thinking, well, I might get 20 plays this game, and all of a sudden now I'm playing 50. 
and uh, and and so we go back and watch the tape, and then we're 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 that close from 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 getting to the quarterback, you know, hitting him where that ball don't get off and everything. So a lot of learning this week, uh, you know, from our defense and everything, and and still understanding too. Uh, every team's gonna have good players, you know, and 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 you've got to be able to when when they when they want to strike to their good players, you got to be able to stop them, you know, and and but. You know, I, I was proud of us going down there forcing field goals and missing field goals and everything, but it kind of goes back to what I said last week is one of the key of the game. We cannot give up big plays, you know. We can't put ourselves in a situation where it's going to put our put our backs to the goal line and we've got to play on our, our, our you know, on, on our end of the field. And, you know, when you take away the two, uh, the two touchdowns on special teams there, I mean, you know, the defense didn't play bad, 21 points. And, you know, this this day and age, you give up 21, you should be able to win the ball game, which we should have, you know. But but when I went back and said that that third part of the game is is really what got us, you know. Um, and we played so well, you know, in the kicking game early, you know, on the kickoff team. It's just that one that one time where you don't fit it right, or you go down and and, and you don't split a double team, and that's that's exactly what happens, you know. You you, you get you get one run back on you and everything, and so. You know, I, I hopefully the kids realize the importance of what we try to tell them. You know, I think now, you know, what, we, what we've what we been telling them in practice, really, they really understood now, well, coach is really right on that, you know. And so hopefully, hopefully that that that, that newness or whatever you want to say is worn off and, and our kids know kind of what to expect on a college football game. Now, you've already touched on a little bit of them here, but uh, go ahead and give us your Bank of Oklahoma keys to victory. Well, you know, you, you got to go back and look at offensively as, you know, keeping the ball and being able to, to finish drives, you know, with, with, with points, you know. And um, and that was something we didn't do early in the game last week. You know, we, 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 we stayed out way too long on defense because our offense couldn't get in rhythm to – you know, to keep those chains moving. You turn around and look in the second half, we didn't play as many plays defensively because our offense kept the ball and they had drives and they hit touchdowns and things like that. And so you, you got to be able to take advantage of what teams are giving you early uh, and be able to, uh, you know, to, to sustain those drives and everything like that. And, and uh, you know, it, and, and it, you know, kind of goes back to the same thing. I know it sounds like I, I might as well hit the repeat button every week, but you cannot put yourself in a hole on defense. You know, um, you, you 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 can't do things that are going to put yourself in a you know in a disadvantage situation as far as you know uh, giving up the plays you got to make and everything. But you know, the, the the really the third key and then is really we got to feed off of each other. You know, our, our offense has to feed off our defense, and our defense has to feed off our offense. You know, and, and we get turnovers. We got to, we got to, we got to capitalize those into points. You know, because you got to look at those as extra, extra drives and downs and possessions that you're getting because, you know, you get the ball back. You know, and, and we had a, uh, you know, good interception there toward the end. You know, in the third quarter there to stop that drive and everything. And so, you know, a lot of factors go into winning a ball game. But it's like I tell them every week. There's five plays that matter in a ball game. It's going to win a ball game. You know, when are those five coming? I don't know. It could be in the first five plays of the game. You know, but you go back and. And you go back and as a coach, you can identify five plays that, that, that either are going to make you or break you, you know. And, and, and that's the thing that's been the challenge this week is we've got to make our own breaks. You know, we can't wait on other teams to, to mess things up. We've got to make sure that, uh, that what we're doing is going to be uh, making sure that we're on, 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 that, on, that, on that part of those five plays that are, that are put, the plus plays that, that are making us, you know, come out and win that ball game. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck tonight. And uh, we'll be back with more on the Davis Ford pregame show. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Look at this new crazy calzone from those brainiacs at Little Caesars. It's a pepperoni pizza surrounded by a calzone crust. Little Caesars got us again. Is it more pizza or more calzone? I don't know. What do you think, pizza bot? Pizza, calzone, both. Get a confused pizza, pizza, cal cal calzone, both, 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 both. Tell my wife, bleep bloop. <laughs> Oh, we're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. The new crazy calzone for eight forty nine. dollars Pizza, pizza. First American offers online and mobile banking features to make your banking experience easy and safe. Activate or deactivate your debit card as needed, attach images to your transactions, apply travel notices to your account, and make person-to-person -person payments. 
You can even set up text alerts to guard against unauthorized spending or just to monitor your account balance. The best part, that you can bank anytime, anywhere. At First American National Bank, get that hometown feel, the high-tech touch. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we take you to the field now for the playing of the National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise as we honor America. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. At this time, we also would like to ask for you to join us in a few moments of silence and remembrance of those lost and affected by the tragic events of 9-11 20 years ago this week. Thank you. And at this time, the playing of the National Anthem by the ICC All-American Band. <clears throat> And welcome back to the Davis Ford pregame show. We invite you to visit 904 West Main Street in Fulton to experience the Davis Ford difference. Check out DavisFordAutoSales.com to see their new and used inventory there at Davis Ford. Probably a Jim Ingram three iron away from us here in the ICC <laughs> Alumni Fair and Foundation Broadcast booth. And guys, we just heard Coach Sean Cannon's Bank of Oklahoma keys to victory. Uh, Jim, let's start with you. What are your keys to victory for tonight for the Indians? Adam, I think two things jump out at me. Number one, you know, we win the game last weekend if we do not perform badly in the kicking game. To a punt return, a kickoff return, the kicking game is very important, very important. Also, turnovers. Kicking game turnovers, I think, are very key tonight. Dr. Boggs? Yeah, and uh, I go back to, uh, of course, I've talked to, I talked to Coach Greening a mile ago, too, and uh, we've got some you know, got a couple of offensive linemen out due to illness, not not COVID illness, but due to other illnesses. And we know the players that got injured last week, too, are out. So I think we've got to have some guys that step up immediately and play some big boy football and be ready to go in and let's play some big boy football tonight. And then, of course, uh, kind of like we say, also starting fast, as, as Coach Cannon said. You know, of course, we got to get out there. we got to put the pressure on Cole Lynn. Uh, defense has got to perform. they got to come out hot. And then, of course, we got to put the pressure on Cole Lynn instead of us trying to be the one that is playing catch-up as we were last week. That That is difficult. So that's really kind of what I'm looking at besides the special teams that Mr. Ingram mentioned. I think that's a biggie because 14 points, giving that up last uh, last week, is difficult to come off of. And those are your Bank of Oklahoma keys to victory being brought to you by our friends over at the Bank of Oklahoma. John Heritage Company, a proud sponsor of ICC Athletics here on Super Talk Mississippi 101.9 FM. As as well as let's go icctv.com the red channel so we're just about six minutes away from that first american national bank kickoff remember to follow the flag from iuka to tupelo to find the first american national bank location closest to you they're proudly ce celebrating over 50 years of being a customer driven and community focused bank that's the first american national bank there well, mr jim I know you got that list in front of you right there. Let's go ahead and talk about tonight's Coca-Cola starting lineups. And, of course, when we talk about Coke, you got to always say ICC and Coke. Now, that's a winning combination. And Coach Sean Cannon hopes he's got that winning combination put together defensively and offensively and special teams-wise for the Indians. Thank you very much. For our offense tonight, Dylan Fox come off a very good game, threw for over 300 yards last weekend, starting at quarterback. R.J. Wilson, Jamal Brooks had outstanding games. Your running backs, Sandringham, the freshman wide receiver, had over 100 yards. 
catching last weekend, and J.J. Daniels, the other freshman wide receiver, had over 100 yards catching last weekend. Chris Howard will also play wide receiver. As Brad mentioned, we got some injuries and sickness in the offensive line. Starting tonight, Parker Little will play offensive tackle. Buddy Ballman's playing guard. Frank Bean is their starting center tonight. Javante Woodall, a veteran, is playing guard. And Jatavius Lane, a veteran, is playing tackle. You want me to go over to the defense also? Yes. Defensive tonight, Javon Edwards starting the defensive end. Jaquan Lott, who's played a lot of football for the ICC Indians. The other defensive end, nose guard, big Tyreek Howard. Our linebackers, Corley Hooper, who only played a few plays last week, got a little bit banged up. He's starting tonight. Antonio Johnson starting. Trey Bale, Breon Jordan, outstanding linebacker from Philadelphia, Mississippi, is starting. Your cornerback's a true freshman, Dominique Taylor, and another true freshman, Jadarius Steen. Peyton Ray, the veteran at free safety, along with Darian Hobbs at the other safety. And that is your Coca-Cola starting lineups. ICC and Coke, now that's a winning combination. And tell you what, it sounds like we got a good winning combination put together there. As we're four minutes away from that first American National Bank opening kick, the captains are heading towards midfield. But, guys, we had a very unique tradition that started back in 2017 where ICC opens it up, allows any freshman that's interested in helping lead the team onto the field for the first home game of the year. And we got to see that there. Those that are watching on Let's Go ICC TV got to see it there. Uh, very unique, and you saw a lot of great uh, participation there. Brad. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, glad to see that. I know the student body wants to get involved, and I'm glad to see that. And uh, can't say enough to uh, Adam and Mr. Jim about what the physical plant staff has done to get yes. tonight ready. They've done a fantastic job on the field here to get the uh, get uh, everything looking good, painted up. Again, the signage, what the, what the community relations department has done to get everything ready tonight. Sodexo, our partners here as far as uh, concessions and things of that nature. And then, of course, you know, just the cheerleaders and the band. Band has been fantastic again yes. and, and glad to see them back out. So it's just an exciting time, Mr. Jim. It really is. No doubt about it, Brad. As you mentioned, it's beautiful out here. The, that's the grounds did a super job. The grass is cut. Very fine green. The team is ready. The band's ready. The cheerleaders are ready. We just need to find a way to start out strong. Hey, guys, not like last weekend. We're down 24 to 0 before you can even blink. Start out strong tonight. Get the crowd involved. Get the team going and get a lead. Well, Colin wins the Kegel Eye Center opening coin toss. They defer to the second half, so ICC will receive this First American National Bank opening kickoff to start this one. Let's hear from First American National Bank and be back with that kickoff right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're just moments away from the start of this one here in Fulton, the home opener as ICC 0-1 on the year, taking on Colin, who is also 0-1 on the year as they dropped their season opener last week at Cenotopia. Colin in their all-whites and their silver helmets. ICC in their home all-red blue helmets. ICC moving right to left on your radio dial. Of course, that means Colin be moving left to right for those listening here on Super Talk Mississippi 101.9 FM. Looks like this is going to be J.J. Daniels and R.J. Wilson standing right around the five-yard line for ICC, getting ready to take this first American National Bank kickoff. The kick is on its way. It's deep to the right side. going to be taken at the one-yard line, and that's going to be Wilson. Wilson trying to get to the outside, steps off one tackle, stiff arms another, gets across the 15. It's going to be slung first down, and is going to be brought ICC down right around the, the 18 what do you want to call that? 18 yard line. Yes, sir. It's 18, yeah. So it's going to be first and 10 here for the Indians. And I'm trying to still learn the clock here as, and add some time to it. 14.52 to go here in the first quarter play. First down and 10 for ICC. These first downs being brought to you by our friends over at Davis Ford. Shotgun set here. And it is going to be a handoff to the long running back. This is going to be Brooks. Brooks rumbles, stumbles, and bumbles his way out to the 20-yard line. 
Yeah, good penetration there, Mr. Jim, by the uh, by Colin. But ICC was able to get something out of it and turn it into a positive there. But good penetration by Colin on the front side. Right, like you said, Brad. Good effort. Got three yards. Second and seven. Games just started. 14:30 left in the first quarter. No score. Second down and seven will be the situation. They do mark the ball out to the 21-yard line. Two receivers on the far side of the field, two running backs in the backfield. And this time they are going to throw it into the flats, and it's got a lot of room to run on the far side. This is Watts. Spins around, gets across the 25, where he's going to be still on his feet. And that's going to be close to a first down. Yes, call it a first down, as they're going to mark him out to about the 29, maybe 30-yard line. Great second effort that time on the part of Eric Watts. Yeah, good little flare pass out there, and uh, it was great. It was wide open, had a lot of green out in front of him, had a blocker two out in front of him, able to turn that into first down, but he fought hard for it, Mr. Ingram. No doubt about it, Brad. He got about five yards and three more extra yards getting the first down with extra effort. So now it's to be first down and 10. It's his first down once again being brought to you by Davis Ford. Three receivers here on the near side of the field, one running back in the backfield. That's Wilson. He gets the football, takes it to the far side of the field, trying to break off the line of scrimmage. Gain of one, maybe two if he's lucky on the play. Yeah, not much there on that one, but there again, I like it. you got to come back to the run, which is something, again, Etiwamba didn't do, as Coach Cannon mentioned, a lot in the first half last week. You're right, Brad. Control the line of scrimmage. Offensive linemen like run blocking. It's a lot easier than dropping back, pass blocking, getting the rhythm, get, get lathered up, get going. Hopefully we can run the ball tonight. Second down, let's call it eight to go now here for the Indians. 13-14 to go in the first quarter. Quick out passes, that's going to be to Wilson. Wilson trucks a guy and is able to go forward, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Solid pickup there on second down. Yeah, going out there, that flare again. Uh, nice little pass to RJ. Uh, able to pick up enough to make it a manageable third down situation. Adam looks like third and five. The balls that are on 36. 13 minutes left the first quarter, no score. So the Indians with the possession down here. Colin trying to get off the field. ICC with the ball just near the 35-yard line. Let's go ahead and call it the 34. Where it's third down and five. Inside 13 minutes to play. Handoff is going to be to the long running back in the backfield. Powers his way forward, but it's going to be decision-making time here. It's like it's going to be fourth down and three for the Indians. Handoff up the middle to number 12, R.J. Wilson. Yeah, it Tackle looks like they're going to bring the punt team fourth out on this one ICC. and uh, go ahead. And uh, Because one thing we learned Order last week down at Southwest, you know, we were fighting. Uh, they had the field Nixon. position. They won the field position battle uh, definitely that first half. We don't want that right here. The Nixon, the uh, freshman punter, get a good kickoff here, kicking from his own 39-yard line. Good snap to Nixon, and a booming mm, kick dang. is going to go over the head of the player from Colin. Takes wow. a soft roll inside the five-yard line. That is a thing of beauty. Beautiful, beautiful punt. Uh, as, as Adam says, that looks just like his uh, pitching wedge shot or, or sand wedge. I don't know what that was of yours, Adam. That, that's going to be a C.J. Adams lob wedge. <laughs> Tell you what, I think that's 57 yards, I believe, on that punt. I believe you're right there. But, yeah, that was just beautiful. But, guys, one thing we talked about, a good sign there was a good snap because we didn't have our long snapper from last week. Well, and just a beautiful punt. I mean, a tremendous punt right there by Nixon. So it's going to be a first down and 10. The ball is going to be spotted officially at the four. And so Colin's going to keep with the quarterback. Keeper gets across the 10, stacked up, still running. And I tell you what, guys, that was a pretty strong run on the part of that young man. Yeah, a little RPO action there. And, of course, he, he uh, decided to pull it, saw the green grass out ahead of him, had a hole on that side and took it and went up. Randy right. had me food. I thought we had to run back stop there, and the quarterback, you quarterback said, mentioned pulled the ball and got 11 yards, two, got the first down. Well, a big carry there with first their backs against the one, wall ball, or the end zone, if you will. Line. So it'll be a first down and 10 here. Man in motion, empty backfield. Whistles and flags are flying, so we'll see what they're going to talk about here. Well, I'm having to get used to the chains being on the opposite side of the field of us. Last week, they were right there in front of us, and I – Keep looking down and can't find anything. So false start is the call there. So it's going to back up the Wolves and make it a first down and 15 situation now. Well, the official did not turn his microphone off before he blew his whistle, and he may owe us some new speakers after that one. So first and 15, they're going to th try to throw a screen oh, pass. Picked. Nearly picked oh. off. Oh. Oh. Mm. 
Man, oh man, that was a pick That's six for sure there. By number 26, as Antonio that was Thompson Antonio Thompson Second down and 15. coming oh, yeah. in and breaking that one up. And boy, guys, that could have been huge for the Indians. Oh, that, that would have been the break that we were looking for right there to put the heat on them on the front end of, of things. Of course, we've got to still got a second and 15 right here, Mr. Ingram. Need to hold them there back on their own nine yard line. Second down and 15, 11 22 to go here in the first quarter. No score between ICC and Colin. Colin taking their time here. 12 seconds on the play clock. Three receivers near side, one alone up top. High snap. Handoff's going to be to the long running back in the backfield. Slips off one man, gets out to the 15, knocked down at the 16 yard line. Solid pickup there on second and down. Five, yeah, very solid. Out. Of course, Tackle again, both teams kind of run a, running a spread style offense, and that's what Colin's running here, well, too. And they're kind of working the RPO situation Lincoln. of that, but that wouldn't look like it was a design run right there on me, Mr. Ingram. No doubt, Brad. Possession down here, third down, third and seven. As Adam mentioned, we've got 11 minutes left in the first quarter. No score in the ball game. This time, Colin going with two receivers on both sides of the football. Running back in the backfield. Hargrave is your quarterback still here for the Wolves. Taking their time here. Not really getting a big of a hurry on Rush. Looking to throw, he's got a man outside, too tall, goes out of bounds. And that's going to bring up a fourth down and long situation. Fourth down and seven. Great job by that ICC defense, giving up 11 yards on the first play. Got a little help with the penalty, but was able to stand strong and force up what we think to be a little Caesars punt. All right, good job by Dominic Taylor, defensive back on the far end. Forced the uh, receiver out of bounds. As I mentioned, Brad, fourth down. Yeah, definitely. This is what we wanted, dial up the punt here. Indians should get good field position. Uh, now for their second possession. Good snap, a high kick, angled towards the side, and it's going to hit and roll down to the 50, and then finally does take a little bit of a Wolves roll, <laughs> and the <laughs> player for Colin just rolls it down rolls the field. Down. As it's going to be downed at about the 47-yard line is where ICC will have it first and 10. And a big pickup there for the Indians, or I should say a big stop for the Indians. And now an opportunity here for the Indians to get something going on their second drive of the evening. You're right, Adam. Great field position for the Indians. First down, their own 47. 10-23 left in the first quarter, no score. So it'll be first down and 10. This is a Davis Ford first down here for the Indians. Two running backs in the backfield. Two receivers far side. It's going to be a handoff to Brooks right up the middle, and Brooks is stacked up and... Little to no gain. No, they're going to give him a yard on the play. So a positive pick up there a little bit for the Indians. Yeah, those linebackers done, uh, were doing a great job right there for Cole Lynn of filling in those holes because you had a hole there, but they closed that hole in pretty quick where basically uh, we were only able to get, what, a couple of yards out of that. You're right, Brad. Second down, second and eight. Uh, the linebacker filled the hole very quickly and knocked our running back backwards. We are hoping to fall forward a couple of yards. Didn't happen that play. So the Indians with it now. Two receivers on both sides of the football. Brooks in the backfield. Falk is your quarterback. Downs going to shift Brooks from one side to the other. Waits the snap. Looking back to throw. Looks to the right side. Has a man open. Caught and is going to be hauled in at the 45-yard line. Solid pick up there on second down. It's going to bring up a third down in about two situation. Yeah, Mr. Ingram, right there is what that was prime example. We know we've got some fill-in offensive linemen or some that you normally don't start. Great job of protection right there for Falk. He was able to get the pass off, get great yardage. You're right, and he ran a little down and turned in. Got a good gain. Third down, third and two. Big play here. Falk keeps it. Gets around the corner, uses a stiff arm. It's going to be ran out of bounds, well, and that's going to be a first down for the Indians. Brad, good job there. We've been running first inside, down. giving the ball off to the Five. running back. This time the quarterback faked it to the run back, had a wide open around the right end for the first down. Yeah, that's that RPO. You can pull it, uh, obviously, and keep it once you see that opening out there and you see that uh, lineman drop in and uh, did a great job by Falk. So Falk now looking back to pass, going deep down the sideline. Nobody there, just a miscommunication, it appears, that Brad, time as the pass was intended for Webb. Webb, Webb stopped about 10, the 20. The ball landed near the 10. You mentioned, Adam, the quarterback and wide receiver were not on the same page that time. No, no damage, just an incomplete pass, second down and 10. We've got good field position with the 37 of Cole Lynn. I do want to remind everyone that if you're in the Fulton area tomorrow, volleyball will be hosting their first home games of the season. One o'clock, five o'clock. It'll also be a three o'clock match between Coastal Alabama and Northwest. 
If you can't make it, it'll be available on the blue channel. Handoff around the end. Brooks rumbling, stumbling, and gets out of bounds. And a big carry there for the big man. Great, great play calling right there. You had the penetration. You had a blitz coming in. ICC read that. Obviously, was able to get to the outside right there with a handoff with Brooks. Great play call. Play call. Second down and four for the Indians. I believe it's uh, third down. Third and a long three for ICC. So, yeah, they are going to call it third down and a long three. I like that, Mr. Jim. That's Short four, whatever. Yeah. The Indians going to try to keep it alive again here. This is Brooks. He's going to lean forward, but it's going to bring up fourth and inches in this situation. So, excuse me, fourth and one. So, it's going to be interesting to see the Indians try to roll the dice here early. Or are they going to try to get some points on the board? Looks like they're sitting in the fullback, number 44, Quinn Bennett. A Fulton native coming into the contest here. So it looks like ICC is going to load up, play some big boy football. And it's going to be a give right up the middle. First down for the Indians. Yeah, and what that does now, what we're seeing here is you got some confidence coming in. What we didn't have last week, we'll keep going back to last week. Got to get this confidence going. That's what's going to help this team. Big run there. As now ICC quickly to the line of scrimmage, looks to the side. Got two running backs in the backfield, keeping the fullback in that slot position. Give is right back up the middle. That's R.J. Wilson trying to battle his way forward. Looks like he's able to fight forward for a gain of about three. Good blocking up front. As you mentioned, we left the fullback in. Carry again by number 12, a lot of big Wilson people in there trying to run the football line. up the middle. Second down and seven. As you mentioned right, earlier, Brad might have to see the quarterback pull it out again, get around the end. Well, and clock management too, kind of what we're seeing here too, which is good. Uh, you know, uh, they you know Indians are working the clock. The clock is on their side. You know, no hurry. You know, let's get down here and let's score, but no hurry on this. Falk is your quarterback. Two receivers on both sides of the football. Ball is at the twenty. Gets the snap back, looking into the sun when he gets set to throw, and he's going to be hit and dropped for a sonic sack. Yeah, it's one of those occasions, I guess, Mr. Ingram, where, you, you know, you, you see that coming and you know you've got to get rid of it or you got to make a move on the other and just probably just a little too long for Dylan to hang in there on that one. But, again, uh, 12 yards, you know, hopefully not a lot of damage done. The Indians can make it up. You're right, Brad. We're at the 25. That would be a 42-yard field goal attempt if we don't get any yard this year. Like a little confusion on the play that time is now they're going to run a little screen to the outside to Sanger and he gets – some of that penalty yardage back, or excuse me, the sack yardage That's back the six, as he Howard. heads out of bounds. Excuse me, that fourth was bounds, number six, Howard. Yard line. And so now it's going to be fourth and long here for the, fourth Indians. And six for the Indians. So fourth and six situation here. ICC is coming in to kick this one here. So this is going to be Lasher getting set to step into this one. This is going to be a 26-yard attempt? 36. 36. Yeah, I see it now. So a 36-yard attempt here for Lasher, trying to get the Indians on the board for the first time this evening. Snaps a little low, able to get a solid foot into it, and it's going to be wide left. Well, well, go with him by he was able to handle the snap no that time, guys, but may have just threw off his rhythm a little bit as he swept that one wide left. You know, he had plenty of leg, just kind of pushed it to the left there, Brad. Good drive, didn't get any points this time, but we controlled the line of scrimmage, controlled the clock. Defense playing well, see if we can do it again. So no score in the contest. 5.39 to go here in the first quarter of play. We do appreciate those that are watching in support of the Indians, but also do want to say a special hello that might be watching in support of the Wolves tonight here on the ICC Sports Network. As Colin has it, ball is going to be at the 20, where it's going to be a Davis Ford first and 10. Going to be a handoff to the running back in the backfield. Hit and stopped. And up the middle to number as five, that's going to be Rick number 18, Allen. Corley Hooper. Tackle Good to see him back on the field 18, this week as he was able to come in and make the stop. Yeah, linebacker, he, he just came up there and filled the that gap Second right quick. Uh, Good to see Corley back out there making some plays. Indians needed that on defense. So a gain of one on the play. Quarterback's going to roll out and a great play call there. Jukes one guy is still going to go for it. Has a first down and then some. And a great play there. Good play call. Got the ICC defense going to the right, play fake, route back around, and was able to get the ball out to the 45-yard line. And another first down here for the Wolves. Handoff, trying to bounce to the outside, is able to do so, lowers his head, gets across the 50, down to about the 45, make it the 43-yard line, and one of the best drives so far of the evening, guys, here for the Wolves. And they're doing a hurry-up, Adam. They're not huddling right now. They're getting the calls from the sideline, come 
directly to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and they're picking it up in chunks right now here against this ICC defense. Thought about the pass on the outside. ICC covered it well. Quarterback, though, able to fight forward and nearly slipped out of a ankle tackle that time, but Quarterback another solid pickup as that was Hardgrave, yeah, Hardgrave excuse me, on the carry, Johnson. and it looks like he's going to bring a second down and four. It was a great play, though, by C.J. Johnson play, right there because he was the only one left out there to the make that tackle, and he, he did. It was a shoestring tackle and held on to him. 4.15 and counting here in the first quarter of play. Still no score between ICC and Colin. Colin, who has been pedaled to the metal, now slowing it down. 12 seconds on the play clock. They're in that pistol formation. They hand it off to the long back in the backfield. Great blocking up front, but good pursuit by the Indians. What looked to be a big play there. Gain of one, one and a half. So it's going to bring up a third down and three situation. Good job of Peyton Ray. Didn't let him turn the corner there, Brad. Held it to a one yard gain. Big play here, third and three. Cole has got the ball at ICC's 36. No score, 340 left in the first quarter. So it is going to be a third down and three possession situation here for the Wolves. ICC trying to bend but don't break. See if they can get off the field here defensively. But you do got to think it may be two down territory here as well. Handoff this time. They go with the extra blocking back, trying to bounce it to the outside. There is a flag down on the field across the 30. There's a second flag Hail coming in late on the play. Shakeland. It is enough for the first, first down, but we're going to sort out the, the flags flag that came in in this situation here. Well, that back judge has a heck of an arm on him. He threw that one from about the 15 all the way down to the 38-yard line. Holding on the offense, number 81. That's a 10-yard penalty for the previous spot. Repeat third down. So holding on the offense will back him up there. That's a big break for the Indians because they picked up the first down and was able to move the chains. You're right, Adam. Now makes it third down, third and 13. They're out of field goal range. Big play here, third and 13. They got the ball at our 46 ball yard line. Spotted at the 46 yard line. Third down and 13 for the Wolves. So Colin will have it. Three receivers on the far side of the field, one here near us, and running back in the backfield. He lets go to block. Now here comes the pressure. Ran right mm. by it. Now he's going to have to get up the field, and he's going to be hit and knocked out of bounds. Well, I tell you what, guys, ICC had the perfect opportunity Paul there Hargrave, to come up with a sonic sack, the but Hardgrave, great idea, kind of just a sixth sense of feeling that one coming and fourth stepped up and five, was able to pick up, uh, make it a fourth down and five. Yeah, there's line. a lot of green grass out there in front of him, too. The Indians did a good job of making that up because when he first started, when he first took off, it looked like he had enough to get the first down. So great job by the Number Indians two, to recover. Ray, I thought they might think about going for it at our 38, but they're going to punt the ball. So this will be a little Caesars punt coming up here for the Wolves. Snaps a good one. Steps into it about the 49-yard line. High angling kick. Peyton Ray's there. He's going to get out of the way. And this one is going to be down inside the five-yard line as well. So basically, guys, Caesars anything you can do, I can do better. After line. ICC pins Colin deep in their territory, Colin comes back and returns the favor of this trip down the field. Yeah, Indians got to an answer right here, basically do what Colin did because, again, we can't let the field position battle. Uh, don't Doesn't need to go back Colin's way. That's what they were doing right there. Obviously, some people would say, go for it on fourth. Well, they're trying to play the field position. No doubt about it. They, they have flipped the field, Brad. 227 left the first quarter. No score, but ICC has the ball with their own three. Need to be careful. Need to get some first downs here. So, as Jim mentioned, the ball is at the three-yard line. ICC's got to be careful. And they are going to hand it off to Wilson, and Colin is just stacking the box, saying, okay, we know what you're going to do. Let's see you do it. Brad, Brad and Adam, it looks like hopefully Dylan will pull the ball here, the RPO, hey, no, run around the end if he's got some running grass because no they have stopped the running back Second here several Brian times going up the middle. Yeah, the inside, uh, you got your linebackers and your linemen are playing real good for Colin right now, and they're stuffing that in the middle right there for that run. So they're doing a good job filling the gaps. Inside two minutes now here in the first quarter. Still no score between ICC and Colin. Colin showing pressure coming off. Picked up nicely by the Indians. This time they do pass it out. Out near the 10-yard line is where that will be Sandrin in for the completion, and it's going to bring up a third down and five. Four. Give him some breathing room. Let's go ahead and call third that a four. For four. ICC. Yeah. But yeah, you said it, Brad. Gave him a little bit of a breathing room there, so a few more options you can do with the third down and four. Big possession down, guys. A little miscommunication. Oh. Jump on as he catches. What catch a catch. It. 
Yes, he does. Guess who? Sandgren. Let's go back and look at that one. On the Little Caesars instant replay. Look doomed from the get-go. But Sandgren, as you said, Brad, climbs the ladder, goes and gets it, and a big-time conversion there for the Indians. You know, Brad Falk just trusted his receiver, said, hey, I'm throwing it up. You just outbattled the defensive back. Go get it. That's what he did. And, and he had a step on him, too. That's, that's the thing. Sandgren had a step on the DB right there. So inside a minute now here in the first quarter, ICC with a Davis Ford first down. Falk's going to step up. He's wrapped up, got to protect the football, and wisely did so. He's going to try to look like maybe underhand toss over to Eric Watts, but just didn't have it there, and Colin nearly stripped that one out of his hands, so ICC lucky to still have the football. you got to eliminate that stuff. We know that Colin's coming in right now. Their defensive line, their deep front is doing good, and their linebackers in the middle right there. We're doing better stretching it out. So uh, we've got to be careful right there, and so does Falk. need to be careful when you drop back or when you get the snap. So that's going to be a second down. Let's call it 15 situation now. Falk taking his time, gets the snap. Dropping back to throw out to the flats and just short arm at that time. Well, and it's going to be a third down and 15 situation with 12 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Third down and 15 for the Indians. Yeah, had an open receiver out there. I uh, don't know that he would got the first down out of it had he caught it, but he was an open receiver and would have definitely minimized this third down and 15. It would have taken it down even short. You're right, Brad. Jordan Buchanan, the freshman from Tupelo, was open. Had a little pressure on him, just kind of short armed it. Big play here, third and 15. 12 seconds left in the first quarter, no score. So third down and 15 is the ICC All-American Band getting fired up. We're going to try to run a screen pass, and that was blown up beautifully there by the Wolves as they read that one the whole way through. And I do believe that's going to do it here for the first quarter play. It'll be a fourth down and 13 situation when we come back, as it'll be a punting situation here for the Indians. Back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Playing on tour takes years of dedication, hours of practice, focused precision, and nerves of steel. That's how you become great at the game, but not how you should bank. That's why Allie Ewing chose Renaissance Bank. Their easy to use app makes banking a breeze, no matter where she is. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas... Well, we're going to have to cut that a little short there as the officials said, let's play football. High snap here on this Little Caesars punt, and what a boot as this one's going to be taken at about the 33-yard line, hit at the 35, able to bounce off one. Now it's going to be hit and drug down eventually at the 35-yard line. As that was a beautiful Little Caesars punt there by Nixon. It will be a first down and 10. Good field position here for the Wolves. Well, Jim, I know you've got some stats over there in front of you. These stats being brought to you by the Sonic right here in Fulton. Well, Adam, I got the first quarter stats of our quarterback. He's 6 for 8. Just a reminder, He's been sacked twice. He's thrown for 38 yards. Threw some short passes, made some good completions. Trying to get in the rhythm. He's six for eight in the first quarter. So it'll be a first down and 10 situation here for the Wolves. They're flip-flopping the field now, so they're moving right to left on your radio dial for those listening here on Super Talk Mississippi, 101.9 FM. Confusion on the offensive play here as the Wolves getting sent it back in from the sideline. Three seconds on the play clock. They get the snap off. It's going to be a handoff to the long running back in the backfield, trying to get around the corner. And he's going to be hit and dropped after a solid pickup of about two on first down. Yeah, Fairley did a good job right then coming around and catching him on the backside right there. He never was able to turn the corner uh, to get upfield. So great job stretching it out. They're actually going to give him a gain of three on the play. So a second down and seven. Quarterback rolling out to pass. He's oh, going to yeah. be hit, dropped, and finally brought down by the Indians. Great pen penetration right there, Mr. Ingram, by the Indians on that side. Quarterback just didn't have a chance. He didn't have a chance. Good job. Our defensive line got a loss here. We're early in the second quarter, 14 minutes left in the second quarter. No score. Adam, I believe now it's third down and third and 15. Yeah, if I say third down in a long way for sure. And, yes, I'm going to go third down and 15 with you right there, Mr. Jim. 
as this will be a possession down here for the Wolves. Two receivers on both sides of the football. One running back in the backfield. Hargrave is still your quarterback here for Colin. Indians showing three down linemen. They're going to run it. He's going to get out to the 35-yard line, gets that maybe let's call it a gain of six on the play, so to bring up a fourth down and nine situation. Yeah, it was a safe play by Colin, but what they were seeing was, as you said, Adam, they had three down linemen right there. Of course, Ed Wommel was dropped back to play the pass on that one, uh, which rightfully so, uh, great play by Ed Wommel. Good job by Nick Neal, the freshman from uh, North Carolina, 6'4", 285 pounds, grabbed his leg, wouldn't let go, forcing punt again. Well, stop me if you've heard this before, as we're getting set for a little Caesars punt here for the Wolves as both these teams are just kind of playing a chess match back and forth. And guys, this game could swing on who can hit a big play. Inside 13 minutes as this little Caesars punt is on its way. The kick is angled towards the far side of the field. It's going to hit at the 35, roll forward, and continue to roll forward about 25 yards. And the same kid from last time. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like it. Number 88, Harold Rhodes out there having some fun. Rolled the ball another three or four yards after he touched it. But the Indians will have it first down and 10 here from the 25-yard line. Of course, we talk about those first downs. we got to remind you that all these first downs are being brought to you by Davis Ford. Looking for your next new or used vehicle? Stop by 904 West Main Street right here in Fulton to experience the Davis Ford difference. That's Davis Ford, a proud sponsor of ICC Athletics. And the Indians with it now. It's going to be a quick pass out. This is Howard knifing his way through traffic, and boom, is hit hard. Yeah. Colin's doing a good job of coming off the blocks line. right now that Ed Wamba setting out there. You know, you got those short passes, so you hope you can hold the blocks long enough for the receiver, whoever, to get out there and get past it. Colin's doing a good job. Good game, though. Second down and two. Handoff is going to be the long back in the backfield. Nothing doing there for the Indians, as that was Kobe Pate. And Pate did good just to get no back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they stuffed that one right there. Uh, the lineman had him uh, just, I mean, he was right there on it. So uh, there was no gain, basically, or no no chance to get a first down there, Mr. Ingram. You're right, Brad. Possession down here, third down, 32. And this time, Falk's going to keep mm -hmm. it. He's going to be wrestled down to the ground and slung back down to the original where the Indians started this drive at the 25. So after a solid pickup, or actually they're going to be very – kind on this one and moved it up the field four yards. yards. He did put it to yeah. 29. Yeah. But give Colin some credit. Uh, the quarterback tried to fake it to the tailback this time, tried to go around the end, and they stopped us, forced another punt, which uh, we're punting well so far tonight. And so this will be another Little Caesars punt here on this fourth down and six situation. Oh, high snap. He's able to find it. And a booming kick again. Fair catch is called and taken. Now the ball's on the turf. Do the Indians have it? It's a scrum for it. We'll see. Nope. Colin was able to keep it, and they'll have it at the 31. Boy, I thought the Indians, we talked about it, guys. Could have been the first time we saw a turnover, maybe a big play. They could swing momentum one way or the other. Thought we might have had it there. But instead, the ball will stay with the Wolves. Shout out to Dr. Bronson Prohaska checking in, saying she's missed listening to ICC football on the radio. Appreciate her checking in here and supporting the Indians. So, Brad, so far in this game, Price Nixon is an outstanding game. Three outstanding punts. So it'll be another first down here. And it's going to be a pitch out to the far side of the field. The Indians read that one well. Yeah, great job by the defensive back on that side. He was able to get out there. He didn't make the tackle, but he turned the guy back in to traffic right there where they made the tackle. You're right, Brad. Turned him in. Brandon Fairley made another good tackle. Stop him for a loss of yards. Second down, second 11. We got 10.55 left in the second quarter. No score between ICC and Colin. We do want to remind you to stay tuned at halftime. We'll have the Little Caesars halftime report. Also hear from that ICC All-American band. What a great pregame show they put on. We'll look forward to their halftime show as well. Colin looking to the sideline to get the call. Three receivers on the far side of the field. Hargraves, your quarterback. They do have one running back in the backfield. Play action fake, and the short arm throw across the way is going to fall incomplete, so to bring up third down and 11. 
Yeah, both teams really are kind of running similar offenses right now, if you be honest with you. You know, with that spread style, you'll have a trips over there on one side on occasion as they do, short passes, things like that. Every now and then there may be a deep one in there once you see you get that opportunity. But both teams running a similar style offense. And so Colin getting some guys in and out here. Looks like a little confusion on who all they wanted to get on the field just then. And still taking a lot of time, but I look up at the play clock and it's still 14 seconds on the play clock. Now inside 10. Pump fakes, throws over the middle, jump ball and caught, and that's going to be good for a first down. What a catch. Yeah, had plenty of time back there. He was sitting in the pocket, never had to roll out. Had plenty of time. Great job by the Colin offensive line. You're right, Brad. He had time to look off several receivers, find an open receiver. Got a first down for Cole Lynn at their own 43-yard line. Well, a big conversion there on that third down and long. High snap. Handoff is going to be the running back in the backfield. He's hit and is going to be taken down after a gain of two, maybe three on the play. Ed Woman did a good job there of stuffing that in with the linebackers and the line and there, stuffing that in and keeping that play at a minimal one or two. It's like two or three-yard game. So it'll be a second down and seven situation here. 9.45 and counting until halftime. Still no score between ICC and the Wolves. Three receivers far side of the field, one here near side. Hartgrave, still your quarterback for the Wolves. A running back in the backfield to his right. High snap. Able to tip it and get it back, but there are the Indians that eat them up in the backfield. We've got to take advantage of these miscues right here. You know, now it's a, it should be a, what is this, a third down scenario? Yes, third down. It drove, it drove them back a couple of yards. We've got to take advantage of these miscues. No doubt about it, Brad. This is a possession down, third down, 39. They got the ball at their own 44 yard line. As we mentioned, we're in the second quarter, nine minutes left in the second quarter. No score between Colin and ICC. Guys, here's a real quick a scoreboard update. Pearl River, they're up 7-0 in the first quarter at Cahoma. Gulf Coast, they're up 5-0 at Northeast. That's also in the first quarter. Pass over the middle is complete, but going to be shy of the Pass first the down. The middle to number 22, Chris Freeman. Tackle made by number and it's going to be decision-making time here as this should be a fourth down and two. Yeah, it looks like they may be bringing the punter back out. The the play the, again, playing the field position game on it. Uh, I understand fully. You know, obviously right now that's what both teams are doing. Brad, you're right. This is, uh, it might be a mistake whoever's going to score first in this ball game. Both defenses playing very well. So awaiting this Little Caesars punt here. Ball is at the 49, fourth and two. Snap back's a good one. Pressure coming from the Indians. Couldn't get to it. Another outstanding kick. And I tell you, oh, ball's loose, but Indians fall on top of it at the 10-yard line is Peyton Ray. But I tell you what, guys, it's just been a clinic put on by both of these punters tonight. Yeah, both punters have done a fantastic job, again, of flipping the field. That's what we've talked about all night. We've been talking about it. You've probably heard a lot of that on the air uh, as far as hearing us talk about it. But they've done a great job. Again, so far, special teams has done well for both teams. No doubt about it, Brad. And, and give the defensive credit. You know, we're here in the second quarter. Eight minutes left in the second quarter. No score in this ball game. Both defenses playing well. First and 10 is the situation. Sangren with the football. He gets out to the 25 and is going to be bumped out of bounds. That's Solid pickup there. Sangren runs and Sangren's one of those guys that when he gets in the open field, he's extremely dangerous. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what, if they're not keying on Sangren at some point in time, then, then that's their mistake because he can make some big plays. So a first down for the Indians. Going to go out to the flats. What a catch by Watts. Makes one man miss across the 35. And a big time play there for Watts. Climbed the ladder to go get it that time after the pass was a little high. Yeah, nice little flare pass out there. You had this side clearing them out. You had them taking the DBs down, so it just left one guy up there. Great job, great catch. So it will be a second down and two situation here for the Indians. Inside seven and a half to play until halftime. Two receivers on both sides of the football. Watts in the backfield with Falk here. Falk gets the snap. Quick out. That's going to be Howard. Howard, oh, just slips down, and he knows he had a whole lot of green grass the right there in front of him. But the pickup, good for three, and well, goes for Davis Ford, first down. And that completion will move the chains for a Davis Ford. First down, I see. So the Indians 
pick up the first down there. ICC, you would think maybe hurrying up a little bit more here, but being a little bit more methodical, getting the plays from the sideline. Three receivers on the far side of the field. One-on-one -on -one coverage here at the bottom. Watts goes in motion. Falk steps up in the pockets, in trouble. Tries to throw it forward, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. And he's trying to find one, maybe a little drag route that time for Daniels, but a great job by the Wolves to eat that one up. Haven't had any success, Mr. Ingham, right now with Falk stepping up in the pocket. Oh, Anytime he steps up in the pocket, he's getting sacked or getting pressured. You're right, Brandon. We've got a good little drive going. We started the ball, excuse me, started this drive at our own 11, got two quick first downs, need to keep it rolling here. So it'll be a second down and 10 situation now for the Indians. Falk looking to the sideline to get the play call. You've got two running backs in the backfield. That's going to be R.J. Wilson and number 11, Eric Watts. Two receivers on the far side. Falk gets the snap. Looks over the Open. middle to Sangren. Sangren makes the catch and pays for it. Great, great catch right there. He knew he was going to take a hit, Mr. Ingram. Knew he was going to take a hit on it, but he made the catch, held onto the ball, first down. You're right. Another first down, our third first down in this series. Good job of Sandring. Tough young man. We know he can catch the ball. Had over 100 yards receiving last week on a roll tonight. First and 10 Indians, 6.15 left in the second quarter, no score. So we'll be first down and 10 here. And they're going to try to do a little slip screen underneath. They do so. That's Brooks. Brooks spins off one, makes three guys miss. Out to the 40, 42. No, excuse me, 39-yard line. Big-time run by the big man. I like to see that right there, Mr. Ingham. I like that big guy. I like Brooks. Uh, got a, just a head of steam behind him. Anytime he either catches the ball or runs the ball, I love seeing that. Good job by Brooks. And give the offensive line some credit. After Brooks broke a couple tackles, a couple of offensive linemen came down, got a few blocks, got them some extra yardage. So Falk will have it now. Another first down here for the Indians. Drops back to pass. Ball fakes. Now going to throw it downfield and she'll simply throw this one away. Smart play that time by Falk. Didn't have what he originally looked for. And just simply just created some room and throw that one away. Live to see another day. Well, you said it. it was a smart play. He actually, instead of stepping up in the pocket, which there was no pocket to step up in, he rolled out and was able to get outside and throw the ball away because nothing was there. And Sangren was covered down here. Second down and 10, 5.40 to go here until halftime. 0-0 zero, zero is your score between ICC and Colin. Pass over the middle, wide open. Howard looking for some room and gets it across the 20. Pass inside to about the 18-yard line. The red zone at the 18 -yard Big time line. pick up there for Push the Indians. Down. Yeah, Coach Five. Cook has seen something right there, Mr. Ingram, on that quick, on that middle pass right there. I don't know, uh, Colin's playing a little soft right there in the middle, but they're allowing that slant pass or that post-type pattern that you're seeing. Good drive by the Indians. Again, we started this drive at our own 11. We're now at the 18 of Colin. Falk gets it out wide. This is Wilson. Tries to juke one guy. Great open field That's tackle number there okay, by Wilson, number 15. Bounds, That's going to be Jalen Campbell. But if he doesn't make that play, that's six points. Six for the Indians. Yeah, a, another great, great play there. RJ, I think it was RJ that caught that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a great, great play again. Didn't go down the field. RJ was open out here in the flat. Uh, great, a great throw and catch. Well, the Indians moving to the red zone, and we remind you when you're ready to make your next move, be sure and give Ricky Mur Murphy, Tommy Morgan real estate agent, a call as it's going to be a handoff. ICC dies mm. forward to the 10. And another solid pickup there, but let's finish that fall for ICC Wilson fans. When you get ready to move, line. give Tommy Morgan real estate agent Ricky Murphy a call ICC. at 662-321-9824. That's 321-9824. So it's going to bring up a third down and two situation here for the Indians. Falk. Going to hand off. This is Wilson. Wilson trying to get upfield. Slips off one tackle. He's hit. And should be enough for another first and down for the Indians. Eric That's about the well, same play, if I'm not mistaken. You're looking at an RPO Walker. scenario uh, there and about the same play that they ran before. And are they going to – nope, they're going to say a first down. I thought they might have brought the chains out for a second. Will chains, so it will result in another first Davis down. Ford first down All as the ball right. is going to be marked at the eight-yard line. The Indians – Boy, best opportunity the Indians have had all night at putting some points on the board here, guys. Falk, your quarterback. Brooks in the backfield. Falk awaiting the snap. Play action. This time it's going to go out wide. This is Howard. Howard trying to use his speed. Leans inside, but gets there. Wow. Excellent. 
What a drive, guys. What a drive. Yeah, great drive by the Indians there. And again, uh, Falk pulled it, uh, had an opportunity again, RPO situation, pulled it, saw the uh, saw him open out here in the flat. Again, able to make it uh, get get past a couple of guys there and make the touchdown. Guys, we got a break. I'm not going to lie to you. We caught a break on that one as the player from Colian knocked down the pylon before we got in the end zone. So the Indians get six. But, yeah, you saw it there on the Little Caesars instant replay. We'll take it. Kick we'll is up. It. And the kick is good. Is Indians good. lead it seven to nothing. We'll take a break in here from First American National Bank and be back with more right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me. And the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set for this First American National Bank opening kick. and. As we said, ICC, well, may have got a little luck on that last call, but it puts seven points on the board, and the Indians have the lead here. As we're awaiting this kick from the Indians, this is going to be number 83, Shane Lasher, in to attempt this kick. Looks like number 11, Quest McNeil, back to receive one of the two receivers, as this is going to be a long line drive to McNeil, who's going to scoop it up at the seven-yard line. Brings it across the middle. He's going to be hit and dropped. And I tell you what, after watching that Southwest game last week, it's one of those you see him hit that turbo button. You got to hold your breath for a second. Didn't know if he was going to be able to slip that one through, but did not. And the Indians get the stop there. So it'll be a first down and 10. Ball is going to be right about the 33-yard line. Adam, let me say this. We went 89 yards. I don't know first how many minutes it took. Running and passing. To if you notice, neither team's line. called a timeout. I think there's been one flag in the, in the game. So we've had good rhythm this game. Great drive by the Indians. So if we get a flag here, we can I know say it's my fault. I think we've had one flag in the entire game. So it's going to be a first down and 10 brought to you by Davis Ford. High snap. Handoff's going to be the lone back in the backfield. Slips off one tackle. has got a lot of room to run now that he's reverse field. Picks up a block out across the 45 to the 50. Jumps out of bounds. What a great run Handoff there by that Grinch young man Island. from Colin because that was all him, guys. And having a hard time pick up his number. I believe it was... Ball spotted at the 48-yard line. First down and 22, Colin. maybe? I can't see it. No, number five. Five. Drexel Allen. He made that happen all on his own there as that play was bottled up to his left, was able to reverse field and really pick up the first, or just move the chains and get the ball across the 50. Another high snap, thought about the option. Now they pitch it outside. And another great run here by Allen. He's going to be up across the 40 and finally knocked down by the Indians. Heads up play there by Hargrave, was wrapped up after not pitching the ball the first time, but then was able to pitch it across. And moves the chains again here for the Wolves. So back-to-back -back big pickups there off the back of Drexlin Allen. So it'll be a first down and 10 situation here for Colin. New running back in the game. That is going to be Shanklin in. Hargrave stays your quarterback. Three receivers on the far side of the field. One here below us is number 14. And my goodness, he's a big old dude. 6'4", 215. Instead, they keep it on the ground once again here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Indians able to get to it, but still a gain of two that time for Coley. Yeah, great great play there by Coley Hooper. Again, missed him last week. Hey, he was standing up there in the middle. You know, he was uh, knew he was rushing on that play, was able to get off the block and make the tackle. Good job by the defense. Coley's got a pretty good drive going here. Two minutes left in halftime. 7-0 to zero, ICC up on Coley. So Colin looking to the sideline, as Mr. Jim mentioned, second down and eight. Ball is at the 35-yard line. ICC leads it seven to nothing. Colin trying to answer, see if they can tie it just before halftime. Play clock down to seven seconds, still looking to the sideline. Now they get to play, shifting people around with three seconds on the play clock. Get it off with one. Hargrave 
Wants to load up. He's got a man down, going down the sideline, and just threw that one a little bit too far. Let's give credit to the pressure, though, that time put on by number 21, Conley, for the Indians that forced that pass to go long. Yeah, Indians brought the blitz that time. It was a great call on that, uh, great timing. Uh, put pressure on him. Just didn't have time to get the, get the pass off to, to make a good pass. You're right, Brad. Big play here. Third down, 38 for Cole Lynn. They got the ball to ICC's 35, a minute 30 till half. So Cole Lynn with the football, trailing 7 to nothing here. As Jim mentioned, 130 to play here in the second quarter. High snap once again. Pass out to the flats, and the Indians ready for that one. And it was a forward pass, so it will bring up a fourth down and eight situation. Yeah, great, great set of plays by the defense right there. We saw Cole Lynn move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. Now the Indians came in and, and uh, made them uh, forced a fourth down effort here. Big stop there by the Indian defense. Looks like they're staying on the field here. Fourth and eight. Of course, there's only a minute 26 left until halftime. So Cole Lynn going to roll the dice here. Ball is at the 35. Fourth down and eight for the Wolves. Well, right now, if you're ICC, you got to know where Allen is on the field, and he is standing to the left of Hargrave in the backfield. This time, the pass out to the flats, and in and out of the hands of the receiver. Don't know if his momentum would have kept him in bounds, even if he did catch it. So a big-time stop there by the Indian defense. And that's big right there because it was an incomplete pass. Time, the clock stopped here, obviously. And now... I, I see he's got more time in three timeouts. Right, three timeouts is key there, Brad. You're right. We got the ball. We just went down the field, went 89 yards on last possession. We got all three timeouts, got good field position at our own 35. Let's see what we can do. Let's try to get some more points here before halftime. We're up 7-0 to zero on Cole in, minute 21 left in the half. So Falk brings the Indians out on the field here. As Mr. Jim mentioned, this Davis Ford first down from the 35-yard line. Falk wanting to pass, does so out to Howard, gets across the 40, and is gonna wisely run out of bounds. And the Indians gonna use that sideline as their friend here to save some timeouts. Again, conserving, that's right, Adam, conserving those timeouts, smart, smart football. So it brings up a second down and two situation here. As India's looking toward the sideline, you got number 33 in the backfield, that is Miller in it running back. I believe that's the first time we've seen him back there this evening. Falk gets a little bit of a lazy snap. Now he's going to go to Miller. Miller's going to try to cut up field. Does so and looks like he was grabbed by the face mask, but no flag came out on that one. Maybe got him by the front of his jersey, but it is going to be good for another first down for the Indians. Davis Ford, first down. Yeah, I would like to have seen him going ahead and got, got out of bounds right, right there. But he cut it back in, Mr. Ingram. He did. He got the first down, but the clock's running now. We've got 56 seconds. we got all three timeouts. We'll start using them if we have positive here on this play. So Falk, low snap, able to pick it up off the ground, throws downfield, wide open to Sangren. Sangren's hit, twisted, and they're going to give him the first down. I believe they will. Should be a gain of 11, and I believe the officials agree. And ICC is going to take a timeout with 44 seconds on the clock. We're going to keep it here, guys. Indians with the first down and 10 situation as they do mark it to first down, and ICC leads it 7 to nothing, trying to add to it here. Yeah, the offense has got a spark here, and prior to this uh, series here, uh, Falk had 129 yards passing prior to this series, so uh, racking up some more yards here, Mr. Ingram. You're right, Brad, and we've got good field position. We've got the ball at Cole Lynn's 43. Got 44 seconds, and we also have two timeouts. Need to get some points here on this last drive for halftime. And added more yards. Uh, Falk now has 151 is what I'm finding out now. So positive yardage and a much – better second half of the second quarter, I guess you can say, here for the Indians as they're trying to build on this 7 to nothing lead. Again, remind you that volleyball will be at home tomorrow at 1 and 5, 1 o'clock against Coastal Alabama South and Northwest at 5 o'clock. You can watch that on the blue channel of letsgoicctv.com. So it'll be first down and 10 here for the Indians. 44 seconds until halftime. Falk's got to step up, hit as he throws. It's caught by Howard. He steps out of bounds at the third, at the 20. Chris Howard runs out of bounds inside the nine yard, yard line. line. And then there's flags are flying the the all play. over the place. You know, Mr. Ingram, that's the first time. That's a great, great time. He stepped up in by, he, he's paying for it. He's limping a little bit out there, Falk. But he stepped up in the pocket, took the hit, Made the, made the play. Brad, you're right. He made an outstanding play then. He did step up, got hit, I think, by two people. Made a good pass, got the first down. We'll see what they 
say here is there's three flags on the ground, and I think this is going to be a hit out of bounds. As this is a big break here for the Indians as well, as that's just free yardage down First to about the 15. I know this sounds strange, guy, but we still have two timeouts. We've got the ball 15. We can run the football if we want to right now. I agree with you. It was a personal foul face mask. The and line. so now the ball will go to the 15-yard line. We're going to be first down and 10 here for the Indians. 37 seconds. I'd like to dial up a little Brooks right here. And that's exactly where they're going to go with it. Brooks going to lower his head, gets out to the 10-yard line, out and gets that's out of bounds. Number 32, Jamal Brooks runs out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Well, a big play there, is, and guys, as you said, smart. You see some high football IQ out there right now. They get that hit. As soon as they get hit, they know and start veering towards that sideline. If you can't get any more yardage, get out of bounds and stop the clock. So 32 seconds to go now. ICC with the football. Second down, let's call it six. This time it's going to be a handoff to Brooks in the backfield. And Cole in ready for that one there. And ICC is going to burn the timeout with 27 seconds to play. Quick timeout on the field. Let's take it with them here from the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. ICC leads it 7 to nothing with 27 seconds to go until halftime. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 27 seconds to go until halftime. ICC leading it 7 to nothing. They do have one more timeout left in their back pocket. You figure if they don't pick up anything here, they'll burn it, try to get that field goal and go into halftime with a two-possession lead. You're right. And, Brad, you know, you want a touchdown here, but you don't want to force a pass and have a turnover. You want to come away with at least three points here. We got the timeout, third and 10 at their 15. Be safe. Try to get the touchdown, but let's don't turn it over. Absolutely. Falk with it. It's going to throw back, and that's going to be Daniels, and Daniels is hit hard. And credit to Colin. They blew that play up and – was able to hold ICC, and looks like the Indians are going to let to allow this one to run down, take a timeout, then attempt the field goal attempt. So it will be a fourth down situation. And they do take the timeout with 4.7 seconds left. We will keep it here. As the Indians, you said, Jim, would love to see a touchdown put on the board, but instead going to try to add three more points to it. Real quick, Colin Boone checking in watching here on let's go icctv.com uh, he's watching he's getting a two from one he's watching one uh dylan falk as a quarterback and then a player from colin as well so hopefully he's wearing that red and blue though even though he's <laughs> going to be supporting both guys you're right adam and th this is a big play here it could be about a 30 yard field goal attempt 4.7 seconds left in the halftime if we can make this field goal go up by two scores so this is going to be number 83 that's shane lasher on to attempt this. Well, looks like you're marking at the 19. Right. So it'll be a 29-yard attempt right here. Four, Dylan Falk holding. He's already missed one tonight. Would love to make up for it here. Awaiting the snap. It's another low one. And the kick mm. is blocked. And Colin's got a lot of green grass in front of him here. A chance to return this one. Falk's going to go out and make the tackle. What a big time tackle Here's there by the quarterback as time runs out. Seven to four, nothing. ICC the with the lead here at the break. Before we take that break, guys, not the note ICC wanted to go into the break on, but they do lead at seven to nothing here at halftime. Yeah, I mean we do, and again, you don't. I don't want to go into the halftime on a negative, but six points right there should be on the board for Etiwamba on top of the seven it should be a 13 nothing game right now mr ingram you're right brad and at least get the field goal there but we got it blocked to give the quarterback credit he made a good tackle it'd been seven to seven we controlled the second quarter you look at the stats we had a lot of yardage in the second quarter we played very well i wish we were up more than seven zero but hey we're up seven zero and playing pretty good football right now we're going to take a break and be back with little caesar's halftime report here from fulton icc leads at seven to nothing at the break 
Look at this new crazy calzone from those brainiacs at Little Caesars. It's a pepperoni pizza surrounded by a calzone crust. Little Caesars got us again. Is it more pizza or more calzone? I don't know. What do you think, Pizza Bot? Pizza, calzone, both. Get a confused pizza. Pizza, cal cal calzone, both, 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 both. Tell my wife, bleep, bloop. Oh, we're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. The new crazy calzone for eight forty nine. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Hey, Indian fans, I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent, Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. Whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home, or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're just moments away from that Little Caesars halftime performance from the ICC All-American Band. 7 to nothing. ICC with the lead here over Colin. As let's take you to the field for tonight's performance of the ICC All-American Band. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Itawamba Community College is proud to present to you the 2021 ICC All-American Marching Band. We are thrilled to perform for you this year's program, One Giant Leap. We open our program this evening with the 1969 David Bowie classic Space Oddity and the 2013 One Republic hit Counting Stars. And now, the ICC All-American Marching Band. Now we present the 1969 Steve Miller Band hit Space Cowboy featuring our Indianette dancers.
drum majors for the ICC All-American Band are Lily McCulley, South Hello, Brianna Clark, Ripley, Mallory Dabbs, Nettleton, Alex Hidalgo, Mantachi, and Lily Monts of Morville. Color Guard Captain is Hillary Little from Collierville, Tennessee. Indianette Instructor is Mandy Eaton. The ICC All-American Marching Band is under the direction of Christy Colburn, Brennan Eaton, Eric Simmons, and Ryan Todd. Thank you, and good evening. Get a free extra most bestest pizza right now at littlecaesars.com. Ding dong. Order $15 or more for delivery and get a free extra most bestest pizza. Use code extra pizza at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Little Caesars are crazy calzone, julienne pepperoni. It's so tasty. Garlic white sauce. Here comes the bite. Here comes the bite. Yummy! The dream about the crazy calzone again? You also said some weird things about giraffes. We're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. The new crazy calzone for $8.49. Pizza, pizza. Ooh, bumble. Let's give her a renaissance replay. Make the right call with renaissance and get cell phone protection with renaissance rewards extra checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Sign up for renaissance rewards extra checking with ATM refunds today. They used to call me Sir Sauce back in the day. I you knew he was going to claim Sir that. Sir Sauce you know a lot. You know. Will is the sauciest. Sauciest guy they know. Well, when you I used to date your auntie, time. she said I was Ooh. saucy. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. You a saucy cat, man. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really <laughs> awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton, call us at 662-862-3711, or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. Look at this new crazy calzone from those brainiacs at Little Caesars. It's a pepperoni pizza surrounded by a calzone crust. Little Caesars got us again. Is it more pizza or more calzone? I don't know. What do you think, Pizza Bot? Pizza, calzone, both. Got a confused pizza, pizza, cal cal calzone, both, 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 both. Tell my wife, bleep, bleep. Oh, we're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. The new crazy calzone for $8.49. Pizza, pizza. Hey, and welcome back. I tell you what, it might help if I turn our microphones up, guys. As uh, I turned it down during the halftime performance there. But 7 to nothing is your score here at halftime. And congratulations to Logan McBrayer. Just won himself a year's supply of Little Caesars and probably made a whole lot of more friends no doubt. Uh, on campus as he was able to punt, pass, and kick his way to that year's supply of pizza thanks to our friends here at Little Caesars in Fulton. Well, guys, um, Seven nothing ICC. You're looking at it. Probably left 12 points on the field in that situation. Of course, you would love to have every point you can get out there right now. But ICC is leading at seven nothing at halftime. Jim, your thoughts on the first half? Very proud of the uh, defense that you mentioned. They they've got zero. We got seven. Brad, I think you'll agree. We should have at least had a field goal there in that last drive, or even a touchdown. I've got a few stats here in front of me. I appreciate uh, David Leathers getting this for us. Falk is 18 of 24, our quarterback tonight for 180 yards. Receiving, Howard's caught seven balls for 62 yards. Sandgren's had an outstanding game, he's caught seven balls, 65 yards. Brooks out of the backfield's caught four balls for 25 yards. We talked about our punter, Price Nixon, the freshman, had three punts for the 47 point average. He has flipped the field for us. We got a seven up the lead. I wish it was a little bit more, Brad. Yeah, I mean, uh, right there, especially that one there at the end, <clears throat> we knew. You know, we were, we were thinking that's the one that really hurts, you know, uh, because we were definitely within field goal range to pull three and, it, you know, go ahead two scores at the half. That would have been optimal. That's what obviously we'd have wanted. Of course, you know, we still had one down here that we missed uh, wide left. Uh, <clears throat> six plays, uh, excuse me, six points 
that uh, that Etiwama could have had out there. Again, this one a lot closer, this last one before the half. I know Etiwama's talking about that, but two, you have to talk about the tough, tough defensive performance that Etiwama's put up. It really has made a difference, Mr. Ingram, with some of these players we got back, and one of those I can talk about is Corley Hooper. No doubt about it. Corley's played very well. And I see, I see it's sort of still alternating. It's still hot out there on the field. I bet you we played, Adam, probably 16 to 18 players tonight on defense. They've all played well. They got – Cole Lynn has zero on the board at this time. Absolutely. You're taking a look at some of these highlights being brought your way here at halftime. It's 7 to nothing. ICC with the lead here over Colin at the break. Jim, did you go over those full stats or you got some more stats? You I, I don't have about? the rest of the stats right now. I think Mr. Leather's still working on that and maybe Brad can get it from him. But I believe we controlled the line of scrimmage in the second quarter. I don't have the official stats in front of me, but I'm, I'm almost 100% sure we have a lot more yardage than Colin because we controlled the second quarter offensively and defensively. Yeah, most definitely, and I, I know we had the time of possession, too, on this one. Uh, you know, we that long drive we put together where we scored seven points, we definitely controlled the clock. Those are the things we knew coming into the game. You know, we have – We've minimized mistakes. Uh, you know, going back to last week and you compare to last week, some of the first game jitters, haven't seen that. You're right, Brad, and I hope you don't get mad at me here, Adam, but uh, we've gone six quarters with no turnovers. We need to continue that. We hadn't had a turnover Absolutely. yet this year. You mentioned second quarter. We went 89 yards on that drive for our touchdown. I know that. Then we had another long drive where we didn't make the field goal at the end. No doubt we controlled the line of scrimmage and total yardage in the second quarter. Let's take a look at the First American National Bank scoreboard update throughout the league. And we've got some pretty close ball games going on right now. Of course, we were the early kick, uh, but it's Jones leading Northwest. That's a top 10 tussle there at Jones. It's 7 to nothing. Jones with the lead. That's in the second quarter. Southwest and East Mississippi is 7 to nothing in the first quarter. East Mississippi with the lead. You've got uh, East Central. They're leading 7 to 6 over Mississippi Delta. That's at Mississippi Delta in the first quarter. You've got Pearl River leading 7 to nothing over Cahoma. That's at Cahoma. That's in the second quarter as well. Then you've got Mississippi Gulf Coast and Northeast in a shootout. That's 12 to 10 in the first, excuse me, second quarter there in Boonville. And then it's Holmes trailing Hines 21 to 14. That game is at halftime there as well. So that is your first American National Bank uh, school board update. We've got about six minutes before we got to uh, get back here. Yeah, and got another one, Adam, just for those. I know we got a lot of uh, state fans that listen to us. Of course, the NFL started tonight. Uh, Cowboys at the Bucks, and uh, right now, first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. That's going to be a big game, too. Dak Prescott came back, you know, and making his debut back after that horrific injury last year. Yeah, so all fans keep an eye on that one as well. Of course, I know what they're doing. They're watching Dak, and they're watching this one. Uh, here as well. 7 0 is your score. Little Caesars halftime report. We'll take a break and come back with our thoughts on the second half here from Fulton right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. Look at this new crazy calzone from those brainiacs at Little Caesars. It's a pepperoni pizza surrounded by a calzone crust. Little Caesars got us again. Is it more pizza or more calzone? I don't know. What do you think, Pizza Bot? Pizza. Calzone, both. Get confused. Pizza, pizza. Cal, cal, calzone, both, 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 both. Tell my wife. Bleep, bloop. Oh, we're not big pizza. We're Little Caesars, the new crazy calzone for eight forty nine. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. 
They used to call me Sir Sauce back in the day. I you knew know he was going to claim Sir that. Sir Sauce you know a lot. What? You know. Will is the sauciest. Sauciest guy they know. Well, when I used to date your auntie, time. she said I was Ooh. saucy. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. You a saucy cat, man. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. Hey, Indian fans. I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent, Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. Whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home, or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll Trash! Get a free extra most bestest pizza right now at littlecaesars.com. Ding dong! Order $15 or more for delivery and get a free extra most bestest pizza. Use code extra pizza at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Little Caesars are crazy calzone, julienne pepperoni. It's so tasty. Garlic white sauce. Here comes the bite. Here comes the. Yummy! Yeah, the dream about the crazy calzone again? You also said some weird things about giraffes. We're not big pizza, we're Little Caesars. The new crazy calzone for $8.49. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back to halftime here. Just about two minutes from the start of the third quarter. ICC with a 7 to nothing lead over Colin. And guys, just give me your thoughts on the second half, what you feel like the Indians need to do or continue to do uh, to try to come away and pick up the first win of the season. Well, and I know Mr. Ingram's got a couple more things he'll he'll, uh, he'll talk to you about, but uh, and, and that's where I'm going with this. One of those is to continue with the defense as they're doing. That defense has played a heck of a game so far. Of course, we know the points. They have, you know, Colin has zero points right now. Uh, but when he reads out the the statistics as far as what uh, the yardage allowed by our defense uh, in this first half is phenomenal. That's showing that we have played a great game. That's going to help carry us on. If we continue that effort, Mr. Ingram, it's going to help carry us on to where we can get a victory. You're right, Brad. And looking at the stats here, and appreciate David getting this to us, it's amazing. First half, we had 350 yards, ICC did, total offense, and we only gave up, Adam, 125 yards. Our defense played very well. Uh, I wish we had more than seven points, but listen to our offense. We had 170 yards on the ground and 180 yards throwing the ball, very balanced. So we've done a good job offensively. Just got to get more points on the board. I don't have the time possession. I would dare say we had the ball probably 20 minutes. They had the ball 10 minutes. We control the line of scrimmage and have a 7 up lead here at halftime. We're going to keep it here and go into the third quarter as we're getting set for that first American National Bank opening kick, or excuse me, the opening kick to the second half. Uh, First American National Bank is a proud supporter of their local communities and Itawamba Community College. With locations serving you from Iuka to Tupelo, just follow the flag to the First American National Bank location nearest you. Also, we do want to thank our sponsors, Little Caesars, for the Little Caesars Halftime Report. As ICC does lead at 7 0 as both the teams back on the field here, getting set to start the second half of play. Will Bunch checking in. And he's watching, got a lot of fans out supporting the Indians, uh, both here tonight. But I tell you what, guys, you can't beat the weather tonight. What a great, I mean, I feel the breeze every once in a while. Makes me jealous that we're not outside enjoying this weather versus being in the ICC Alumni and Foundation broadcast booth. You're right, Adam. This is a wonderful night for football. And again, we don't say it enough. We appreciate the people listening on the radio, watching this online. Supporting the Indians, we got some great fans, great people supporting the Indians, and we really, really appreciate that. And I want to say this too: uh, you know, we talk about the football team here and everything, the good things that they've done. Ryan Todd and his yes. uh, folks and band right there, and the band director for Edwama, phenomenal halftime show, the folks. If you haven't seen it, weren't able to get out tonight. We got two more home games coming up after this one, the next two weeks. Get out here and see the band and support the band. A great halftime show by Ryan Todd and the and the whole band. No doubt about it. And give the cheerleading squad their credit. Taylor does a great job leading the cheerleading squad. We appreciate all the things that makes football exciting here at ICC. So we're getting set to kick this one off here to start the second half of play. This will be Shane Lasher for the Indians getting set to step into this kick here. He's going to boom it away, and it's going to be a driving kick into the end zone, and Colin's going to pull it out about two yards deep. 
Now going to try to get it across the 15. It's going to be hit and stopped at the shy of the 20. They're going to give him the 20. So good job there by the Indians special teams to get the stop. Yeah, excellent job down there. The Indians weren't uh, didn't give up anything there. I mean, obviously they held their line right there when he came out uh, and met him at the 20. So nothing. No special teams blunder right there. We were able to keep him there. And, uh, of course, no harm, no foul. Here. Good job of Keaton Cager. Uh, undersized linebacker. He just makes plays. Good outstanding linebacker from Tupelo High School. Made the play on the special teams. First down and 10 from the 20 here for the Wolves. Uh, do we have a new quarterback in? Looks we like do. It. We do have a new quarterback in the game here. And his first pass is going to be complete as this and is number 18 in at quarterback now one, Eric Rogers, as this 18, is Hooper Colton Gardner into the contest. Six yard gain, second down so and four a gain for the of Indians. six. For the and so a solid pickup there on first down for the new quarterback. So it'll be two receivers on both sides of the football. Second down, let's call it four to go here for the Wolves. Running back in the backfield is Allen. He had a good first half of play, but again, the Wolves changing the play at the line of scrimmage multiple times. And this time the give is gonna be to Allen. What a gap he had to run through. Easy first down there. And guys, you could have drove a truck sideways through that hole. No doubt right. about it. Good blocking by Colin. Picked up the first down. They ran away from the blitz. Yeah, I mean, it was just good play calling on that. We had a blitz on the right the side. They ran away from it. At the and that, that, you know, opened up that big hole. So that first down, as the ball gets out to the 34-yard line, going to play action fake this time. Quarterback's going to roll out. He's got pressure coming. Throws over the middle, and oh, what a Press break for the Indians. For 22, Chris if Freeman. he hits that Second one in stride there to Freeman, Freeman is still running right now. So that ball falls incomplete. It'll be a second down and 10 situation. Seven to nothing is your score here as we're in the third quarter of play. ICC with the lead, Colin with the football. Three receivers on the far side of the field. You've got one here at the bottom. Hooper is your quarter, or excuse me, no, not Hooper, but Gardner is your quarterback and weak whistles blow there. It looks like this is gonna go against the Wolves. Full start, offense. Number six, five yard penalty. Repeat, second so down. that is going to be the case there. So it'll be a second down and 15 situation now. Here's the ball is moved back to the 29 yard line. Lost the yardage on the play. Ball now spotted at the 29 yard line. Second down. As Adam mentioned, we just started the third quarter. 1340 left in the third quarter. Seven to zero. Indians up on Cole Lynn early here in the third quarter. Allen still your running back. Gardner still your quarterback. Two receivers on both sides of the football here for the Wolves. Second down and 15. Indians showing pressure. They bring the blitz, and Colin waits for it, sets up a beautiful screen pass. Allen in the open field is cut a flip at the 40-yard line, and a solid pickup there for the Wolves. Very solid pickup, Adam, but I'm going to tell you, with the blitz that we brought in, there was I would have thought more damage was going to be done on that play than what was because we had a corner blitz there, and – uh, ICC was still able to recover and make the tackle, and, and it's still third down. You're right, Ad, uh, you're right, Brad. It's third down, third and five. But Corley Hooper doesn't trip him up. He gets another 10 yards, gets the first down. So it'll be a third down and four situation here. Colin with the football. Time to throw. Passes out to the flat. It's caught, reeled in, and that's going to be another first down. Colin coming out dealing here to start the second half. Number 22, Chris Freeman yeah, got a different quarterback line. back there. And uh, ICC, the uh, the obviously uh, looking at uh, different routes here. And, of course, this guy is, and I, I can't remember his name, and I apologize, but he, he's definitely doing a good job of throwing it right now for the Colin. Allen with the football, and he's got speed to burn, and he's going to pick up another one. Colin picking it up in chunks right now, guys. No doubt about it, Adam. They brought in the new quarterback. We mentioned uh, Colton Gardner's come in. Done a good the job. They moved ball from the home all the way down, the down to our 38 here early in the third quarter. Picked up their third consecutive first down on the series. First down brought to you by so it will be a first here down situation here for Colin. Being very patient offensively, and it's working. Handoff. Again to Allen, going to the opposite side of the field, gets around the corner, has a block, now cuts it back across the middle to the 20, down to the 10-yard line, 
as a touchdown saving tackle that and time by Cager. But man, Cole Ian is just doing eight. as they Play want right now against this Indians Cager. defense. Yeah. But I, I'm going to say this, you know, and I, of course people say I'm biased and all that, but uh, they missed a hold. No doubt they missed a holding call. <laughs> <laughs> and our linebacker was trying to tell the official to throw the flag, and the official wouldn't pay any attention to our linebacker. But so, what a drive. They're all the way down to our eight yard line. They started the series, I think, Adam, from their own 30. They moved the ball all the way down to our eight. First and goal. Seven to nothing. ICC with the lead, but Cole Lynn knocking on the door. India's defense needs to find a stop. Allen trying to get to the outside. Now cuts it back up the middle. And he's going to be hit and dropped, but does pick up, I think, one on the play. Carried by number five. Yeah, good job by the Indians uh, stringing it out, not letting him get to the corner to turn and cut up field. Stringing it out again, bringing him down. Minimal gain. Brad, we need to make a good stand here. They got second to go with our, at our seven yard line. We're up seven to zero, 11 minutes left in the third period. Again, Colin taking their time, making sure they get to everybody on the same play, on the same page, just to say, when they're getting the play in. Play clock down to 12. Now coming to the line of scrimmage to bark out the orders is Gardner. You running back in the backfield here, three receivers near side. Gardner wanting to throw. Aiming towards the corner of the end zone. He's got a man. Does he hang on to it? No, he doesn't. What a break wow. there for the Indians. One, as that one was intended for Eric Rodgers. That Number one had six Ray points written all over it. ICC, ICC catches a break. Adam, you're right. What a pass on the, on the money. Receiver just could not hold on to it. Break for the Indians. Oh, big time break back there. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I think it was a safety coverage on him, and it just was we, – we weren't there. He was open. And so clock stops with that incomplete pass. 10.39 to go here. Third and goal for the Wolves. Gets the snap off, looking to the right side, and it's going to be broken up at the last second there by the Indians. Pass in the end zone, broken up by number two, Peyton That was Ray. Peyton Ray. That brings up Ray just happened to get a hand in there the at the Lord. last second, able to get it in there and knock it free. And so to be a fourth down and goal from the seven, and it appears they're going to send on the kicking unit here to get some points on the board. We can breathe a little sigh of relief right there, Mr. Ingram, because it did. we are forcing them to a field goal. But I tell you what, we better do. We better get on the sideline and figure two, out what we do to stop Gardner. Right now he's putting him in there like a whole time. And good job of Peyton Ray to knock that ball away at the last minute. And timeout is going to be taken timeout here taken by, by Cole Lynn, Lynn as they want to talk things over. Let's take the timeout with them. Let's hear from Renaissance Bank and be back with more right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more, like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as it will be a fourth and goal situation here. See if Colin is going to keep the kicker on the field or are they going to change their mind and maybe go for it here on with it being fourth and goal from the seven. Nope, they're going to keep the kicker on the field. So the ball will be marked at about the 15-yard line. So it'll be a 25-yard attempt here. ICC has missed two. This will be the first attempt of the night here for Colin, as this is Bryce Lofton. Low snap, the kick is up, and the kick is in the river. It's good. <laughs> My goodness, that kid's got a foot. By Bryce Lofton is good. And yeah, so, he'd have made that one back from the 40, I think. No doubt about it. It'd been good from 45 yards. Well, we're going to take a break in here from First American National Bank. ICC leads it 7-3, to 10-29 to go here in the third quarter. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. 
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Seven to three is your score. 10 29 to go here in the third quarter. ICC leading Colin, but Colin getting set for this first American National Bank kickoff. And guys, they just marked that, marched the ball down the field and we said, thank you, may we please have some more. No doubt about it, Adam. And good job of holding to a field goal, but they had some momentum. Put in a new quarterback and he performed very well. This kick is gonna be taken by Wilson at the four yard line. Wilson trying to find a seam is gonna be hit as he crosses the 20 down to about the 22, 23 yard line is where ICC will have it first and 10. Yeah, to me, you know, you don't, you know, we, I, we everybody said, well, it's third quarter, you got 10 and a half, approximately 10 and a half minutes left. This is an important possession to me for the Indians, number one, because of the Colin quarterback that came in, Gardner, and how good he performed. We need to keep him off the field right now, and we just need to put a long drive together right here to answer what they just did. You're right, Brad, and give the defense a little rest because they were on the field there for about five minutes, and uh, they went all the way down the field to get the field goal. Well, it's first and 10 here. The handoff is going to be Brooks. Brooks trying to cut it back across the middle, does so, and is able to fall forward for a pickup of about yeah, two, maybe three on the play. Brooks, yeah, he turned uh, nothing Second into something right there. Uh, he was swung it out, but uh, he was able to turn it back in, and he made a little something out of that. Great, great run by Brooks there just to get a positive yardage out of it. So coming up on 10 minutes now to play here in the third quarter. The ICC with its second down and eight. And Watts is going to keep it now, cuts it up the middle, tries to bounce to the outside, and it's dragging people forward and still a minimal gain. So and it's going to bring up a third down and Eric long Watts. situation here for Fourth the Indians. At the 28 yard line. Third down and four. You know, right now, Indians. Adam, Colin's got a little juice in their step. They're playing a little bit better defensively. You just saw the offense go down the field, get three points. This is a big play here. As Brad mentioned, we need a first down. It's third down, third and four. So Falk is your quarterback. You've got Watts in the backfield with him. Two receivers on each side of the football. Now Watts switches to the left side of Falk. Falk looking to throw. Is that got pressure in his face? And he's going to be hit and dropped at the 19-yard line. And that's a big-time sonic sack there as Colin just back brought the, the house and was able to come up with a big play. He brought the house, but the middle was open, as we know. And, and man, if it had been a quick slant or something right there, of course, always, or, you know, you can always look back on it. But the middle was wide open. Right, Brad. And the momentum's changed here. Let's give uh, Colin credit. We controlled the first half, first six and a half minutes of this third quarter. Colin has controlled the ball offensively and defensively. So another Little Caesars punt coming up here. A good snap. And this kick, angle towards the left side of the field, is going to hit, take an ICC roll, and it's going to actually hit out of bounds. So we'll see where the officials are going to mark this one. Put it at the 42-yard line. Thought it he could have had about another foot to the right. That one would have been a pretty good punt as it took a vicious run uphill. But another break there for Colins. They're going to have a short field here for their second possession. You're right, Adam. And I look for Colton Gardner to come back out as quarterback. He, he gave him a little bit of a pulse here in the third quarter, went down the field, got the field goal, and looked for Gardner to come back out on the field. Brad, we got to find a way to slow him down. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they've been over there, Coach Cannon and Coach Fox, talking to the crew and finding a way to uh, to answer uh, or find a way to answer to Colton Gardner. Here. So, once again, Colin not really getting in a big rush when it comes to – Getting to the line of scrimmage. They kind of mix it up. Sometimes they're in a hurry, sometimes they're not. And that should be a delay of game, and it will be. And delay Adam, you called it. They're not in a hurry, and they got a delay of game on a dead ball after the punt. Not what you want to do there coming no. out of that punt. So it'll be a first down and 15 down situation and 15 now. 826 now here in the third quarter line. of play. Good crowd out tonight for both teams. It's about a, what, four and a half hour drive from Colin, but they've got a lot of fans across the way supporting their student athletes tonight. And as always, a great crowd here in Fulton. First down and 15, gonna be a handoff in the backfield. And it's gonna be number 10 with a carry. This time he gets back to the original line of scrim scrimmage, if you will. And so it'll be a second down and handoff up the middle to number 10. 10, Bobby Shanklin. Tackle the that was the number the 10 Eagle that time. Line. Shanklin on the carry. He's the a freshman out of Knoxville County High School. Bringing an extra blocking back this time 
And they're going to put him in motion, kind of like a tight end set, if you will. And it's going to be a play action fake. Goes out to the flats, and that's exactly where they're going to the big man. He is hit and stacked up and gang tackled after a gain of about one on the play. Yeah, good coverage right there by the Indians. Uh, didn't fall for the play action fake. Uh, didn't buy it in for that. They were able to stay out there. They, they held their coverage tight. So, again, brings up a third and long here situation. You're right, Brad. Third and seven. We need to get off the field here. This is a, you know, earlier in this quarter, they went down the field, kicked the field goal. Need a defensive stand here on this third and seven play. Yeah, pretty friendly spot that time as it is a third down and seven situation. ICC seven, Colin three. Colin with the football. ICC showing pressure. Colin picks it up nicely. Now the quarterback's got a lot of room to run here if he wants to. Instead, oh. throws it up the field and nearly picked off by the Indians. That was Corley Hooper that jumped the route that time underneath and almost picked it off. And we talked about the room that the quarterback had to run if. If Corley could have reeled that one in, he had a whole lot of room to run in front of him as well. Sure did, Adam. And, again, that's a great job by the ICC defense. They were stringing it out. Of course, they put the pressure on. Uh, Gardner saw that pressure, so he had to step up into the pocket and, and kind of flushed him out. Uh, so that put the pressure on, and then ICC was there to make the play. And, again, you're right. It was almost an interception. Another little Caesars punt here as Cole M will send this one in the air as ICC sending someone on late here. Snaps a good one. The kick is an equally good one as it's going to hit and actually bounce backwards into a Colian player. And there's no way they're going to mark the ball dead where it is right now. The ball bounced into a chest of a Colian player around the 20 yard line. And we're going to see where they're going to spot it. They're actually going to spot it about the 15. So that's going to be that's going to be fair. It was it was somewhere between that. 15 and 20. They're moving it up. Now they are going to move it up. They're again. listening to yeah. you, sir. 18 yard line. There it is. Oh, that's a fair, that's that's a fair trade. That's, that's fair. Line. Better than the nine yard line. For first sure. Down and 10 for so it will be a first down and 10 situation here for the Indians. 6.51 to go in the third quarter of play. ICC with a 7 to 3 lead. They now have the football back. Two receivers on both sides of the football. Falk calling out the pressure. Now they bring it from both sides. Falk gets rid of it in a hurry. And that's going to be a pickup out to about the 21-yard line, as that was Howard who reels that one in. Yeah, Colin's bringing a lot of pressure right now, and on their, their defensive front has done a fantastic job tonight uh, right there against our offense, uh, our offensive line. So give them credit, too. But uh, they, they are bringing a lot of pressure here. They did then, Brad. Defensive end got a good jump off the ball and uh, put a lot of pressure on Dylan. Second down, let's call it a short seven here. And again, more pressure. They throw it over the middle. Screen pass up the middle. Sangren is hit, dropped as he gets the 30. That's going to be a first down for the Indians. First down. Good job by Sandrin. Good job by Dylan Falk under a lot of pressure. Yeah, that's just reading that pressure. They know we know they're bringing it. We know they're bringing it. So throw the wide receiver screen. And again, they're trying to get it to the outside, and it looks like ICC. They got a flag down. Yeah, they're going to be flags down. That's complete to number six. I think Colin got caught with too many men on the field. I believe they did. Down before the snap. And so ICC is going to allow the officials to talk this one over. And see what he has to say. A little substitution. On the defense, on the, uh, 11 men on the field, five yards only, replay first down. I think he meant to say 12. So he said only 11 on the field that time. <laughs> but it was too many men on the field in that situation. So now it's going to make it a first and five situation here for the Indians. As man, Colin, Colin, Colin is just pinning their ears back and getting after the Indians. First down and five Not giving ICC. Falk really a whole lot of time to do anything. This is going to be a gift to the lone running back in the backfield. That's going to be number 12, hey, R.J. Number Wilson. Or was that Brooks? That time? No, it was Wilson that time on the carry. So a minimum pickup. It's going to break up a second down. Let's call it two. You know, Brad, do you take a shot here? You know, we've been running the ball up the tight, throwing second little short passes. Could you try to throw the bomb here on the second down and two? It could if you got enough time. I'm worried about the time that Colin defense has given Dylan to drop back. Wilson on the carry again. Looks like he's going to have enough That's for first the first down. down. He will 12, gain Wilson. of three. So it'll be a first down and 10 situation. 41-yard line. 
That run moves the chain. First so it'll be down. a Davis Ford first All down right. here for the Indians. And ICC trying to answer that drive that resulted in a field goal here. They would love to see if they could put six on the board. As an answer here, they lead it seven to three with 454 to go here in the third quarter. Falk, your quarterback, two receivers on both sides of the football. Play action fake. Falk's going to step up to the side to run this time. He slides and a pickup of about five on the play. Great, great job Quarter right there. Saw four, the pressure, you know, all that Back outside corner blitz. Falk saw it, just said, tuck it. Hey, yeah, a little open grass there. Play. Great first down second play. Down there. You're right, Brad. Got positive yardage, second down, second and five. <laughs> Indians not wasting any time as Colin was caught out of set. And it's going to be another first down, down, a big Chris time pickup there as the pass complete to line. Howard. That and ICC just change. caught Colin napping on defense. ICC. So the Indians marching down the field now. It's going to be a first and 10. Handoff is going to be off the right side. That's Brooks this Hand time on the carry. And he goes forward for line. a gain of... Four. Yeah, and four I'm going to tell you, what a hit. Uh, they handed – Brooks took that ball, and he ran right into one of those linemen and basically knocked the lineman over and kept going. So it'll be a second down and six. Free play here for – no, they're going to say made contact. Well, that's the rule. You hear a couple of the fans saying free play, free play, but if a lineman does make contact with someone in the front of the line, the play is stopped. So we're catching Cole Lynn here. They're they're kind of hurting themselves on this drive. Now, you know, ICC started back here, you know, where we know they have forced Cole Lynn now to make some errors. You're, you're right, Brad. Got a good drive going here. Second down, second and one. We're at their 34-yard line. Falk's going to keep it up the middle, and that's going to be good for the first down. Quarterback draw by number four, Dylan Falk, tackled at the 31-yard line. That run moves the chain. So that's going to be down. another Davis Ford first right. down. We encourage CC. you to visit David Ford, Davis Ford Auto Sales .com to experience the Davis Ford difference. Tab and all the fine folks out there at Davis Ford doing a great job here for a long, long time in Fulton, a proud supporter of ICC Athletics. First down and 10 here for the Indians. Falk, low snap, able to pick it up, and then it's going to have to just throw it away, and he did what have a, a man job. in the area. Yeah, you said it, Jim. What a great job just to get that pass away. Well, they're bringing them. I mean, they're bringing the pressure. Right now, they're bringing the pressure. It's, it, there's no doubt. I mean, we're seeing them. They're bringing them from the outside. The blitz is coming. ICC's got to provide an answer for it. We have been providing an answer. we got to provide an answer for it. Good job by Dylan Falk because I thought he was going to be sacked there. Found a way with a lot of strength to get the ball off through an incomplete pass. Live another down, second down, second and 10. 3 10 left in the third period, 7 to 3. ICC over Cole Lynn. Falk, the quarterback, three receivers on the far side of the field. Plenty of time to throw this time. Go, dials it up, has the man that adjusts and will run into the end zone. Touchdown, Indian. Big time play there. It's a 32 yard. Uh, looks like a uh, throw and catch right there. And guys, Falk just did a good job. He put it down the field, had time to throw, and he just threw the man open. Great job adjusting to the football that time by Shamar Sangren. And that's a big time answer there for the Indians. No doubt about that. And, and Falk's been banged up a little bit. You know, he's got to be tired. He's taking a lot of hits. Like you said, made a good throw. Receiver made a great comeback, got the ball. Touchdown, Indians. Awaiting this PAT here as ICC now leads it. 13 to 3, the kick is up and the kick is it's good. Lasher is up and good. Indians lead it 14 to 3. Top we'll top take a break and, and be back field. with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24 7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400. $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, out of that timeout. 3.02 to go here in the third quarter. ICC leads it 14 to 3. And we do want to remind you that timeouts here in the third quarter are sponsored by the ICC Alumni Association. 
Visit iccms.edu slash alumni to find out how you can help support Itawamba Community College by joining the ICC Alumni Association. And, Mr. Jim, you know a thing or two about that. So as you and Michael Upton and Tilda Bushline do a great job working in the Alumni Association as well as the foundation. Thank you, Adam. We appreciate it. And a lot of support from everybody here at the college. And Michael does a super job. Tilda, we call her our boss. She's been here a long Smart. time. That's a great yes. job. I just say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am to Tilda. Shane Lasher steps into this first American National Bank kickoff here, taken at the five by the Wolves. Breaks it to the outside. It's going to be hit and dropped just shy of the 30-yard line is where Colin will have it. First down and 10, brought to you by Davis Ford with 256 to go here Lasher, in the third quarter, American ICC, with a 14 to three lead. You know, our friend David Leathers gave me some more information here. We went 11 plays, 82 yards there oh, here in the third quarter. David, I'm not mentioning, we got over 400 yards offense in this ball game here in the third quarter with three minutes left. So it will be a first and 10 here, brought to you by Davis Ford. Cole in with the football, and they trail it 14 to three here to the Indians. Three receivers near side, Gardner still your quarterback. Play action, they're going to throw this one ahead. It was blown up. Now the ball's taken away. Wow. Are you serious? Wow. Excellent, excellent play. But uh, who was that? Thompson? Thompson, yes. I mean, he was going to make the tackle, Adam. Yeah. But then he just took the ball away, it looks like. Yeah, I'm saying, I think it was a strip. I don't know if it was intercepted. It was caught. There you see it. Then he just reaches in, strips it away, says, look what I found. And now the Indians have it at the 11. Is that called a fumble then? If he called it that's, and then he strips it away? That's, I guess yeah, so. It's a, yeah. It's a fumble. I. Mm. Hey, it's our ball. It doesn't matter. Yeah. First down at the 11. But it's one of those things. We also always talk about it in baseball. When you go to a baseball field, you're going to see something you've never seen before. Well, I haven't seen that before calling an ICC game. But a big-time break there for the Indians as they got it first and 10. Give is going to be to Wilson up the middle. He goes for a gain of one. R.J. Wilson. Again, Indians keeping it on the ground. Not, I, I like that move right here. I mean, uh, again, we've got obviously great, great field position here, so there's no reason to rush. Again, with a 14-3 to lead, milk some time off the clock. Let's put it on the ground. I agree. Try to get a touchdown here, Brad. Put a lot of pressure on Cole Lynn being up. If we can score here, be up 21-3 going with one quarter left. Falk throws it ahead, but it was blocked nicely. Great job that time by Vaughn of Colin, you're either taught if you, one, you can't get to the football, get your arms in the air and get in the way, and that's exactly what he did as that pass ball is incomplete. So it's gonna bring up a third down and eight now here for the Indians. Guys, do you think this is four down territory after two missed field goals? It matters how much yardage we get on this play, I think, Adam. You know, it's third and 10, if we get third and eight, if we get six or seven here, we might do it. Falk with it, pump fakes. Now he's going to make one man miss, trying to find something, and he's just jumping and jiving his way through. And the guy he originally made miss, which was number 98, that was Boykin. He was able to come back and make the tackle. And so now it's going to be a fourth and long situation here for the Indians. Gain of three, makes it fourth down and five. Looks like they're getting ready to kick it again. 83, Shane Lasher on the hit this field goal. So that's going to be at the 14. Dylan Falk holding. Yes, sir. So it'll be a 24-yard attempt here for the Indians. ICC 0 for 2 so far on field goal attempts this evening. One of them has been blocked. This is Lasher on to attempt the 24-yard kick. The kick is up, and the kick is good. That field goal attempt by Lasher is good. Big time make there for the Indians as ICC turns the turnover into points, and they make it. A 17-3 lead here, 1.23 to go, as we'll take a break. And here from the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, ICC 17, Colin 3, back with more right after this. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set for another First American National Bank kick here 
as ICC leads it 17 to three after a 24 yard field goal by Shane Lasher. And that was true right down the middle, probably good for another 10 behind that. As Lasher is getting set to put another foot into the football here with his first American National Bank kick. And guys, turnover into points is big for the Indians. No doubt about it. And Brad, that gives Lasher some confidence. You missed the first two field goals, got that one to go. Yeah, definitely needed that. Uh, good to see that. Kick taken at the eight yard line now, cuts it across the middle, up the seam, spins off one, is hit at the 40, hit and the falls forward for a gain of about three. And flag down before the kick. There's a flag down, so this might be offsides on the Indians here, but guys, this is going to be a concern of the coaching staff for ICC. Indians give up a chunk of yardage on kickoffs. Yeah, you really didn't want to see them obviously get that good of a return, which is that good of field position off the kickoff you know we know we saw that last week where they returned it for a touchdown and you know it, it just provides them and then now they got the penalty on top of it to add to it and that puts them close to midfield so the ball will be at the 48 yard line we're gonna be a first down and 10 here for colian three receivers near side and one up top by himself in the backfield is the always dangerous drexel allen at running back gardner still your quarterback they're going to pump fake over the middle and just a miscommunication that time as the receiver did never never turn Where's around look for the football, for so it'll be a second down and 10. To Kyron Johnson. Johnson, the intended receiver there for second the Wolves. For Guys, going to try to find some scoreboard updates throughout the league here. I moved all the apps on my phone the other day. I have no idea why I did that, and it takes me forever just to find anything now. So it'll be a second down and 10. Gardner back to pass, sets up the screen. It is caught. It's got a lot of green grass ahead of him, but a beautiful open field tackle that time by the Indians. I believe that was Hooper once again coming up and making the play. Definitely with Corley Hooper again. You know, I can't say it enough. Missed him last week. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Corley makes tackles. So a gain of four makes it a third down and six situation. Possession down here for Colin as they trail it 17 to three. Pressure coming and all he can do is throw this one away. And the Indians do a great Pass job coming up with the stop the there and forcing it into a fourth, fourth down. down. Be a fourth down and six situation. Let's go ahead and take a look at a scoreboard update. Jones is up 14 to nothing over Northwest. Uh, that says in the second quarter, East Mississippi's up 21 to seven over Southwest. East Central leading Mississippi Delta 14 to six. Pearl River, they're up 10 to nothing over Kahoma. And another one here, this one's interesting folks. Gulf Coast Northeast, Northeast has rallied to take a 13 to 12 lead over Gulf Coast and Hines and Holmes. Hines leads at 28, 14, wow. So a little Caesars punt, snap back's a beautiful one. Kick is up and nearly blocked. And it's gonna be taken at the 10 yard line and the Indians get it forward somehow. Number one, JJ Daniels returns. As JJ Daniels Caesars returns punt. that one. Up to the 17 yard line where it will be. Seven first yard punt return that he ran about 20 just yards on just to get those seven. Quarter number three. Really surprised guys, <laughs> he uh, caught that one. Usually one of those you fair catch, run up, try to deep the uh, return team but instead was able to get it out to the 17, where to be a first down and 10 here for the Indians. This first down being brought to you by Davis Ford. So 28 seconds to go here. It's first and 10 for the Indians. Three receivers near side, one up top by himself. I believe that may be Brooks in the backfield. Or excuse me, no, it's a different running back in there this time. This is going to be number 36 and spins off a tackle. Still finding forward and a big time run there for the and Indians. And number 36, Kobe Pate. That was Kobe Pate. Called his name a couple of times tonight, but that was an impressive run. Yeah, that was a great run. Uh, you know, you now you can yard line. That you run let the clock the run out uh, if he out. wants to in the third oh, quarter and move into the fourth. And it looks like that's what ICC is going to let to do here as... The Indians are going to take a 17-3 lead into the fourth quarter. We'll take the timeout with them here. A few the words from our sponsors and be back fan. with more right ICC after this here on the ICC Sports Network. After a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. 
Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is Howie Sonic. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. Slim Morris. And welcome back as they just called out the 2021 homecoming court and it was to a lot of excitement as this is going to be another big oh, run oh. here by the Indians. And again, this is going to be number 36, number 36 for ICC, Kobe Pate. Kobe Pate. He, he runs with authority, line. guys. No yeah, lot about it, Adam. And Brad brought in a fresh back. Down got a little right energy here getting some first downs. Yeah, and got some speed in there too. I can see some speed. He's able to hit the corner and turn it up. And it's going to be a give once again. I believe that is Pate. And that time, Cole M was ready for it. A minimum pickup, maybe just getting back to the original here line of scrimmage. So it's going to be a third down, down, and let's call it two situation now here for the Indians. So ICC making some substitutions. The and and they're ICC. actually going to say, eh, got give him back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, now they're moving the chain back and forth. They can't make up their mind. I can't either. But either way it goes, Brooks is going to get the carry. He's dragging guys forward, still fighting forward, but that second effort Hand is not going to be enough. Jamal, and so it's going to bring up a fourth down and long situation. Fourth out of bounds at the as looks like he line. may have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Fourth down and short for You got a punt here, Adam. We're up 17-3. to 3. 13 Nixon, minutes, 55 seconds left in the ball him. game. Field position number ball game, punt the ball. Allen back to return for the wall. As you said, this is going to be number 38, Price Nixon. On to kick here for the Indians. Another Little Caesars punt coming up here for ICC is let the Indians have a little bit of confusion on who to be on the field right now as a late substitution comes off the field. So fourth down, let's call it a long two, short three. Got a delay and game. delay of game is going to be the situation here. And we heard you say it, delay Dr. Game. Boggs. Had to snap it, just couldn't get it going there. But... Indians just didn't seem to be have anybody on any page that time. Well, that's those mistakes uh, that you hope that you get away from, uh, especially in the second game. You know your assignment, you got to get out there. Uh, but unfortunately, that didn't happen, and so Indians forced to back up the punt. So Nixon will do it again here. He's had a couple of booming punts already tonight. High snap, gets another nice kick. And this is going to be taken at the 35, 36 yard line. Fair catch called for As a fair catch is five, taken right there. And so it'll be a first down and 10 here for line. the Wolves. It's 17 to 3. ICC with the lead. 13 18 to go here in the fourth quarter. ICC trying to find a way to hang on and pick up the first one of the season here over Colin. So it'll be a first down and 10. This first down being brought to you by Davis Ford right here in Fulton. Yeah, this is a big defensive series right here, Mr. Ingram. If the defense can put together uh, a package here where they can hold Cole in, uh, I think that's huge. No doubt about it, Brad. We got a two touchdown lead, but we just started the fourth quarter. Cole has got the ball, good field position here, starting this drive. Play action fake, plenty of time to throw over the middle, it is in and out of the hands of the receiver. Boy, there's been at least three or four times tonight, guys, that Colin has just simply dropped a football. And that one was a little bit behind him, but still one of those you got to haul in. You got to help your quarterback Second out there, but it was behind him. He's running away from the ball. We are glad he dropped the ball. Most definitely, but again, I'm just impressed with the zip that Gardner's got on the ball when he throws it. So it will be a second down and 10 situation now. Ball is at the 36 yard line. Gardner still your quarterback, three receivers on the far side of the field. Plenty of time to throw. Now pressure coming up and Gardner avoids it. He's going to tuck it and run, gets to the outside across the 40, down to about the 42 yard line. And great run that time. And I'll tell you what, I'm each snap more and more impressed by this Gardner kid. 
Runs out of bounds. Yeah, did an excellent job there. He sniffed line. out the pressure that was coming out around the edges there. He was four, able to step Oklahoma. up, make the right moves, and got a positive gain out of it. Guys, this fourth quarter, 13 minutes left in the ball game. We are up 17 to three. I, I think it's almost four down territory for Cole in here. So yeah, third down and four is the situation. And there's the sack. Not now. I was gonna say, I think not I, now. Yeah. Go yeah. back and look at that one. Little Caesars on instant replay. And Cager. Cager comes in, makes a big time play for the Indians. You called his name a, a little while back there, Mr. The Cager, by Keaton Cager, and, the and the, uh, just how enthusiastic one, he is and, and the great tackles he can make. He just makes a lot of plays. Not the biggest linebacker out there. Not the fastest. Just a football player makes plays. So another Little Caesars point. Boy, Little Caesars is loving this game tonight <laughs> as they have gotten their name called a bunch. And I tell you what, I could take a hot and ready pizza from Little Caesars right now as this kick shanked off the side of his foot. But it's going to roll forward down to about the 25-yard line is where ICC will have it, and it'll be first and 10. Well, Adam, if you're Little buying Caesar's and going, I'll out take out one too. That's line. right. First down. Little Caesars should bring right. us a pizza up here tonight. That's We're giving them a lot yeah. of advertising. yes. yes. If they, del if they delivered, I'll hook you guys up. <laughs> so it will be a first down and 10 situation here as the ball is at the 25-yard line. ICC, 12.03 to go here. They lead it 17-3 to over Colin. The Indians would love to put some more points on the board here and see if they can't go ahead and put this thing to bed. Falk. And it's going to give it to the outside, and it's going to be wide open. Now this is going to be a foot race into the oh. hole. Pass complete to number one, J.J. Just Daniel, one man to miss there for J.J., and he nearly Pass took that one to the house. Yeah, great call Chris by Hale. offensive coordinator Chad Five. Cook on that one. Saw that the, uh, the, the pressure was going to come. They were bringing him again. Quick pass out there. Green grass uh, again, first down. Well, I thought they stopped the clock, but now they've got it rolling again. There will be another first down here for the Indians. Falk, time to throw. Running around now, steps up, throws over the middle, is caught, and it's going to be for another first down for ICC, as that was Howard six, on the reception. Howard, Good job by Dylan Falk, and I'm a little surprised, I'll be honest. We're up to 14, 12 All minutes right. left in the ball game. I thought we'd start running the ball, throwing some safe passes. Dylan Falk's played outstanding tonight. He really has. Played a great game. We got it midfield now. Now, if you wanted to, you could mix in a few runs in there and slow things down. And again, they're going to set up the screen here to Daniels. Daniels over the middle and a nice open field tackle Pass there by Colin. And again, a solid pickup there for the four. Indians. Clock rolling now inside second 11 minutes to play. It'll be a second down and six situation. Well, guys, I found somebody that's willing to pay for supper tonight. That's Miss Donna Thomas, who is checking in on the broadcast. Now we just got to find somebody to pick it up. <laughs> Oh, oh, tell Donna we appreciate it. Ball was bobbled in the backfield by Brooks. Good job by Brooks just holding on to the football, finding the football to hold on to it. Big loss on the play there, though, for the Indians. And out to number 32, Jamal Brooks. Loss of yardage on the play. So I believe that's going to be a third down and eight. So Ball also two. 49-yard line, third down and nine for ICC. Yeah, the, Sam says third down and nine, so I'll go with third down and nine. Yeah, the clock's running, but that is not really what you wanted right there. We had had positive gains and positive momentum, so you're going to have to come up with a big play here on third down. So 39 is the situation here. Falk steps back, time to throw, but that's just good. That's a coverage sack. There was nobody open there for the Indians. Sack on the play by number 45. And that's going to be another Morgan. sonic sack there, and this fourth is going to back them up. So it's going to be fourth down and about 16 here Price for the Indians. Nixon that's another good play by Dylan Sutterkamp. Falk, though. You don't want to force number a pass, five, have a turnover. As you mentioned, they covered sack. Take the loss. The clock's running. Punt it away. Yeah, because the line did a pretty good job right there. It was just Eagles like you said. Everybody was covered on that play. Wasn't a whole lot you could do with that one. So another Little Caesars punt coming up here. Good snap. Price steps into this one, a booming kick and a fair catch is going to be called and taken at about the 18-yard line. Is where to be first and 10 here for Colin. 17 to three, ICC with the lead. There's nine and a half to play here in the contest. And well, we've seen Colin. They've been patient at times. At times, they've been able to hurry up the offense, but we haven't seen them, or at least I can't remember a time tonight, guys, that they've taken a big strike downfield, and you got to think they may have to start thinking that way. You're right, Adam. It's, as you mentioned, fourth quarter, nine and a half minutes left in the ball game, and we've got a two-touchdown lead. ICC 17, Colin 3. 
Quarterback is going to drop back, and they're going to try to set up a scoring pass. is intercepted. Hooper takes it to the house. Touchdown, Indians. I tell you what, that Corley Hooper. He knows he's a ball player. I mean, I'm telling you what, uh, we know we missed him last week, and it is just definitely showing. Ain't no telling how many times we've called his name tonight, Mr. Ingram. No doubt about it. He read the quarterback. Not only intercepted the pass, kept his feet, went in for the touchdown. He's an athlete and a good-looking linebacker. We do have a player down on the field here for Colin after the play, hopefully just cramping on the field there. But Hooper makes it a 23-3 advantage now as players shaking up on the field. Let's take the timeout and be back with more right after this. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we're waiting the extra point here from Lasher. He got so excited, it didn't stop the clock running there. As the kick is no, mm. it was a bad snap, and we've seen that a few times tonight, guys. As hey, the is no just good. fell on top of the football there and kept it in front of him. Pretty smart play to do so in that sense, if you will. But that's going to be something we talked about last week. We lost Wade to a knee injury, and so they're still trying to get some ball snapper to kind of get that figured out. Yeah, and I guarantee, Mr. Ingram, that's something we're going to take into next this next week of practice, and we're definitely going to have to work on because I didn't know this, I didn't realize it, uh, but uh, at, at the time, and I don't think he's out there now, but Corley was our second string long snapper. Well, last week we didn't even have him to do right. that. So. so again, that's something we'll probably take into this weekend's practice. I, I agree. We're going have to work on that yes there's nine minutes left in this ball game we're 23 to 3 lead and we hope we hang on and win this game but for games down the road you can't have this many errors in the kick a game especially trying to kick field goals and extra points so they're getting set for another first american national bank kickoff here after the bad snap on the or the mishandled snap on the extra point attempt is 23 to 3 icc with the lead 9 21 to play here It'll be a first American National Bank kick coming from Shane Lasher. Lasher steps into this one, a booming kick. And it's going to be taken at the six yard line by Colin, returning it back over the middle, trying to find a seam. He bounces it to the outside and still up, still fighting off tackles. And what an impressive kick return after the 30. 31, Antonio Luckett. Luckett with the return there. Antonio Luckett is a freshman out of Lee County, Carthage. That's a name that's been pretty popular with football down in South Mississippi for quite a while is a Luckett name. But either way it goes, it'll be a first and 10. So first down and 10 here. Gardner still your quarterback for Colin. Gets the snap. Time to throw over the middle is hit and dropped immediately as that was Rogers hauling in the pass. Pass number one, Eric Brad, that's a good pass, but Tackle we kept him in front of the guy. Brandon Only got Fairman, six yards. Five the clock is running. We'll give that Second up. That's fine. No, oh, most definitely. This is that type of defense where that's what you're going to do in this in this situation, and we don't need to. Okay, good. Don't need to make contact. Indians need to watch the ball. Be careful. Don't jump off sides. So second down and a short five here for Colin. They trail it 23 to three. Still plenty of time to throw. Over the middle has a man wide open out across the 50 Pass down to about the 45-yard line. And a very good field. pick up there. Guys, as soon as we say you don't want that get behind you, that's what they do. You're right, Adam. That, that, that was too much that time. Gain of about 25 yards. First and 10, Cole in, moving the ball at our 45-yard line. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left in the ball game. ICC 23, Cole in three. So it will be a first and 10. This first down being brought to you by Davis Ford in Fulton. Ball is at the 45. Gardner, your quarterback. 
Indian showing delayed blitz up the middle and he's brought down. Guess who? That's what I'm talking about. I mean, we brought the heat at the right time. Lost yardage. And again, yes, guess who? Corley Hooper made the play as he did back here a while ago. The uh, interception for the touchdown. Big sack right there. Yeah, delayed pressure. They saw it coming from the outside, but then forgot about number 18 who was barreling his way through. And a big time play there for Hooper. Second down and 17 now. Inside seven and a half to play in the contest. Here come the Indians again. And there's another Sonic sack. Big, big plays by the defense. Mr. Ingram stepping up right here and Four not allowing Colin to get gain Thompson. any momentum right here. They are Ball backed up so far. Of course, they are probably in four down territory or getting close to it no matter what. But big plays by the defense. No doubt. Antonio Thompson's had a really good game tonight. Also at linebacker, he made the tackle there. He's the one that stripped the ball carry earlier on the fumble earlier in the quarter. Second down, and you got to get to my buddy Seaburn Gray's house to pick up the first down as he's going to drop back to pass. Dialing up, going long. He's got a man, but it throws it out of bounds. And that will stop the clock at 6.47 to play. Of course, I mentioned Seaburn Gray. For those that are unfamiliar with Seaburn, lives in that Ryan's Well area. And uh, he makes custom-made fishing shirts, him and his wife out there in Ryan's Well. So uh, you want to be sure and check those out. Uh, I think he sells them on the square every once in a while, along with support Ryan's on the weekend. So uh, shout out to Seaburn and his family. Get a little free plug there for my buddy. They, they are fantastic shirts, by the way. Uh, I have seen those uh, and purchased a couple. So, I, you know, I definitely uh, I agree with you, Adam. So it'll be another Little Caesars punt coming on here for Colian on a fourth down and 22 situation. Kick is away, and it's a great one. And it's going to be taken by the Indians at the 20, up the middle. Slips off one tackle, now gets out to the 40, to the 50. Now cuts back across the middle to the 45, down to the 42-yard line. J.J. Daniels, how you doing? Yeah, he caught that one. He was able to catch that punt on the run right there. And that's what, uh, I mean, he wasn't sitting there waiting on it. He was able to catch it on the run. Kept in stride, Mr. Ingram, and was able to make some good plays out of it. Now we're across the 50. No, that, and I believe he has a little bit of speed when he's got a little momentum. Definitely. Great punt return. 23 to 3, Indians up. 633 left in the ball game. First and 10 Indians at Colin's 43 yard line. Dylan Fox back in the quarterback, Adam. Going to leave him in. As Jim mentioned, it's 23 to 3, six and a half to play in the contest. Indians try to keep this one on the ground. Jumps out of the arm, tackle of one. Able to bounce four, and what would have been a loss of three turns into a loss and of one, though, for the Indians. They had everybody on the line on that play except for me and Mr. Ingram. All right, guys, don't get mad at me, but we have now gone seven and a half quarters without a turnover. No, you just ruined it right I there. just ruined, ruined it. it. I'm sorry. It's, it's on me. If we have a turnover, it's my fault. <laughs> you just made me go Calhoun County. Oh, on yeah, that's my bad. We're getting it. Probably getting ready to fumble on this play. <laughs> Hopefully you're wrong, though. <laughs> Coming up on six minutes to play in this one, 23-3 to three, ICC. With the lead, this is going to be a pitch out to Watson. Oh, he is tattooed. A loss of two on the play. 11, hey, I'll say this. I really like this Colin defense. Yes, it's 23-3. to three. They could easily pack it up and call it a night. But they're still out there playing, guys. You're right, Adam. They're showing a lot of uh, courage, hanging in there, showing a good attitude. The ball game, hey, we're in control of the ball game, but they're hustling. Give Colin's defense some credit. And, you know, I'm, obviously there was no doubt in the minds they shouldn't be with Cole in what we were doing right there. Right. We're going to melt the clock down, milk it down, either that or force them to use their timeouts. They're not. They have two left. So, obviously, we were going to run the ball. So, two receivers on both sides of the football. Falk's in the backfield. Wilson's is back there with him. Pressure coming. Falk avoids one. Now he's going to throw this one forward. Is caught. Wow. And what a big time play there as I believe that was Sandrin the again the field for making the play. Give Dylan Parson credit, had some pressure, threw the ball on the run, threw a rope 20 yards down the field. Fourth out of bounds at the 34 yard line. That will bring up fourth down and two for ICC. So it was not enough for the first down. I thought it was getting close to it. It was a pickup of 10, just needed a pickup of 13. I like this call. Go for it. So the Indians trying to dot the I and cross the T and handoff is to Brooks up the middle after Falk fell like he was stepped on on the snap. And we got, got it. it. That's, and that's going to be right. a Eight first down Head there for the, the Indians. And I love Brooks. that call right there. Go for it. Run the clock. Down no doubt about it. Good job by the Indians. Got that first down, Adam. First down. Clock running for right. 30 left in the ball game. 23-3. Indians up. 
fourth quarter, first and ten Indians at Cole Inn's 31-yard line. Jim, don't get mad when I say this, but Falk doing his best Eli Manning versus LSU impression Oh, yes, there. I, I remember that game. So it's going to be a first down and 10 situation here. Coming up on four minutes to play in this one. ICC leads it 23-3. to Falk is your quarterback. Quick out pass. This is going to be Howard. Howard's had a nice night. Oh. He slips through two tackles. Now makes oh. another one miss inside the five. How wow. do you do, Howard? Pass complete to number six, Chris Howard, all the way inside the Man, five. Man, he made Down everybody miss on that one. And guys, it was almost as if somebody hit a pause button for a second as he split two defenders and just left them standing there wondering what just happened. Guys, we just went over 500 yards total offense for the night. Nice. No doubt about it. Cole Inns will have to burn a timeout here as got players late coming on the field here. Is. Well, Adam, and when you get it in tonight, when you get the ball in the hands of our receivers tonight, those guys are making some plays. I'm telling you what now. So they have done a fantastic job. Not to take any credit away from Dylan Falk because he really has stepped up and had a heck of a game too to get the ball to him. But our receivers just across the board, I mean, heck, It'd be interesting to see at the end of this thing what all receivers have racked up in yardage. No doubt about it. I think you're right, Brad. He, Dylan's played very well, but he's, he's let the wide receivers make the play, throwing short passes, and then they take advantage of their speed and get extra yardage. And it's going to be a give to Wilson. Wilson's going to take it up the middle. He's hit, stopped at the one-yard line. And if you're ICC, you don't mind that. It's, it's going to be second and goal now. Here in the clock continues to run as ICC, ICC leads this one 23 to 3. And guys, you feel a lot better now of wrapping this one up in red and blue here. And the Indians pick up the first one of the season inside three and a half to play, leading this one by 20. Yeah, let the clock run. I mean, they're either going to use their timeout or let the clock run. And so either way, it's no harm, no foul here. I'd run the darn thing again right here and let them try to stop me. If it did, that's fine. But if we punch it in, that's a nail in the coffin. That's right. So again, going with that big boy package here. And it's going to be a handoff. That's Brooks, and Hess who hammers That's his way home. Jamal Brooks. That was just big boy football right there. And when you play big boy football, that's who you call Jamal. out right there. Jamal, excuse me, Jamal Brooks, 5'11", 225, out of Ripley High School. Finishes it off there, dots the eyes, crosses the T's, makes it 29 to three now, waiting the extra point attempt. So waiting this kick here from Lasher, who has been a busy guy tonight. Snap back to Goodman. The kick is up, and the kick Excellent. is good. ICC 30, Goodman 3. We'll take a timeout and be back with more right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance. And I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want. And I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Well, guys, you just heard the ICC All-American Band just Welling away at the chop there that during that commercial break as ICC leads it 30-3 to three over Colin with three minutes to play. And what a difference a half makes. Well, ICC played well in the first half, but it looks like all of a sudden the wheels started turning and things started clicking for the Indians on both sides of the football in the second half. No doubt about it, Adam. You know, we had a 7 nothing lead at halftime. We've scored 23 points here in the second half and taken control of this ball game. So Lasher on to kick this first American National Bank kickoff. And he drills this one. It's going to be taken at the three-yard line by Colin. Now he's going to try to break it to the outside. Gets out to the 30, to the third 40. Now down to the 50-yard line. Again, ICC special teams giving up a Number lot of field Antonio position Lincoln on those kickoffs. Yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's a great night for the Indians. Don't get me wrong. So, uh, you know, you don't want to focus on the negatives. Again, it's the things that we sit here and say, we know we're going to work on going into next week more than likely. And we're still having trouble with that special team's coverage on kickoffs or punt. We had it with punts, but uh, kickoffs tonight. No doubt about it. They've exploited us outside on these kickoffs. 
but you know, it's something we need to improve on, and I like we can talk about it when you have a 30 to three lead. Absolutely. 2.50 to go here in the fourth quarter. ICC just scores a touchdown, and now the Indians getting after him defensively, trying to force him to bounce to the outside. Does so, gets across the 40, down to the 42, and a big time hit there on the sideline by Steen. That was a big time hit, fellas. It was. You could hear that leather popping. So to bring up a second down, and let's call it six to go here, maybe. As Cole in with the football, and a little confusion on where to line up right now. And again, they're taking their time, which we're fine with, by the way. Say they're not in any if they hurry. want to call a couple audibles, that's fine. So coming up on two minutes of play now, and Colin's going to oh, keep wow. it on the ground, and that's just going to be a tip of the cap saying, hey, you guys have got us. You tried to run the clock Head out. Yes, you scored, but you kept it on the ground. Fisher, and that's going to be a loss on the play, so let's bring up a second Edwin. down or third down and 11. Third down and 10 I think Kyle ICC Lincoln. just called their offensive play on that one because we were right there. I mean, he was handing the ball off. We were right there with him to take the ball. Stay tuned for the Renaissance Bank postgame report coming your way at the conclusion of this one. We'll be naming our sonic star of the game. Take a look at some stats as well and try to have Coach Sean Cannon join us after this game is complete here in the next minute and a half. ICC leads it 30-3. to Back to pass, plenty of time to throw. Now here comes the pressure. Gardner just running for his life right now, looks upfield, still has a lot of green grass in front of him, throws it ahead and then just throws it incomplete. And you know, I made the Eli reference earlier, you're going to make the Archie reference on that one as he basically ran from sideline to sideline and trying to make something happen for his teammates that are for his team there, but kudos him. Gardner, he's looked impressive this second half. Yeah, definitely, but, you know, here, here's a punting situation, two, which they are. Uh, attempt, definitely know it. You know, Daniel Colin knows the, the ball ICC. game, and uh, so don't want to get anybody hurt. They got to move forward. This is, a you know, a non-divisional matchup for Good them. Point. Good point. So, you know, roll forward, fix their thing so they can go into next week. So winning this little Caesars punt here and Colin, a little confusion on lining up a high snap was able to go get it no pressure from the Indians high spiraling kick and the Indians are just going to get out of the way and what a beautiful kick is this going to hit and roll dead at the 10 yard line is where ICC will have it at the 10 yard line. with one minute First left to play for the Indians. so one minute left in the contest and ICC can just go ahead and run, run this one out. No doubt about it. You might take a knee here, Brad. Don't get anybody hurt. We dominated the second half. And what a great win here at home. Got next two Thursday nights for again here at home. Need the crowds to come out and support this team. But what a bounce back night it was tonight to win 30-3 to over a pretty good Colin football team. Yeah, most definitely. We know we're going into the next two weeks here at home. You said it, Mr. Ingram, so that was a great, great build into that. And it looks like ICC is going to take the knee. They know Cole Inn is not going to probably – they're not going to use their timeout. No. Just run the clock out. One of the favorite calls by an offensive coordinator, that victory kneel there, has the clock rolling. As ICC will have to take one more snap in this one and should be final here as the – Referees trying to let the game clock hold up as much as possible in that situation. So Falk will walk up and direct his guys, and they'll take another knee here. You hear the ICC All-American Band. Loving this one is ICC just a knee away, and that'll do it. Count it down from 15 seconds. ICC is going to pick up the 30 to 3 win here over Colin to pick up their first win of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, and a big you can wrap it up in red, white, and blue tonight. Here as the Indians celebrate, the, the student Colin section Purdy. celebrates with us as well. Let's go. We're going to take a break I and come back with the Renaissance Bank postgame report. Indians, a 30 to 3 winner over Colin. Back with more right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. Ooh, Bumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. 
$25 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance report. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. They used to call me Sir Sauce back in the day. I you knew know he was what? gonna claim Sir that. Sir Sauce you know a lot. What? You know. Will is the sauciest. Sauciest guy they know. Well, when I used to date your auntie, time. she said I was Ooh. saucy. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. You a saucy cat, man. If I crave something, I have to have it. Well, so what are you craving? Like, what do you crave? Attention, apparently. Look at him all See, sitting in the middle. I know, right? <laughs> it is really awkward. You just chose to yeah. sit there. <laughs> Sonic Crave Cheeseburger. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Ooh, bumble. Let's give her a Renaissance report. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance report. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. And welcome back. You heard the tail end of the chop going there. You saw the football team celebrating with the ICC All-American Band along with the students that stayed along here on a Thursday night. Thank you for joining us this evening here as ICC picks up the 30-3 win over Colin here. We are in the Renaissance Bank postgame report. We do want to remind you to visit rewardsextra.com to learn more about Renaissance Bank's reward extra checking accounts. Uh, that's They offer things like roadside assistance, cell phone insurance, over 40, 400,000 discounts, along with Renaissance great rates and so much more. That's Renaissance Bank, a proud sponsor of ICC Athletics and the sponsor of the Renaissance Bank postgame report. We've got a lot to get to here, and guys, we're going to start by taking a look at some of the Little Caesars instant replays here and talk about the game before we start handing out our awards as well. Jim, let's talk about it. Your thoughts on tonight overall for the Indians? I thought it was a very good win. First home game, good crowd, great football atmosphere first half you know we had several opportunities to extend the lead we had the seven nothing lead at halftime second half give cole and credit they changed quarterbacks they came out and kind of controlled earlier the third quarter then we flipped it brad we played great into the third quarter dominated fourth quarter started scoring some points here and found a way to win 30 to 3 very very good game for the indians yeah you know we we really made adjustments from last week, and you could see where the Indians did. And that's what you want to see in a team this time of year, again, playing your non-divisional matchups with us playing our South teams, where you're making those adjustments, you're continuing to improve as a team to when you get to those where we're playing those North opponents, we're going to win those big games. We got the kinks worked out. We know the plays we're running. We got the offense running in and here. We got the defense already fixed. Again, now we've talked about there's a few things that we know, and I know the coaches know that they need to work on that we know going into this next week. There's still some special teams kinks right that i want to call it that i think we need to work on going into it i foresee that happening i know they know it as well as we do but there again big effort going into tonight after last week's letdown at summit coming into tonight first home game great great effort by the indians yeah and i think you said a good point there after last week's letdown because i think the indians knew they didn't put their best effort out there still almost found a way to win but able to bounce back tonight and pick up this 30 to 3 win here over Colin to move to one and one on the season well guys we do got to start handing out some uh post game recognitions and uh, uh what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna let each one of you pick a sonic star of the game and mr jim let's start with you you know it's hard to do we had several players step up tonight i'm gonna go with the offensive side of the ball and it all starts of course this player would not be player of the game, in my opinion, unless he has a great offensive line that performed well tonight and the rece receivers performed well, no doubt about it. But Dylan Falk, we had close to 600 yards total offense. 
He didn't turn the ball over. He threw the ball to the right people. He called the audibles at the right time. My player of the game is Dylan Falk, the quarterback. You know, uh, that is an excellent, excellent pick, Mr. Ingram. And, and I could go either way on it uh, because, you know, as we talked about, Dylan took some shots back there. He stood back there and made some great throws. So I agree with you on that. But me being, when my old coaching days, uh, me being a defensive coach, I've got to go with Corley Hooper. Uh, man, what a game did he have. Uh, we missed him last week, and it just really showed tonight uh, the tackles that he made, the blitz when he was able to make the sacks, and then the big interception down here for the end zone uh, and, and the score. Again, uh, both did very well tonight, but I'll go with Corley Hooper. No doubt about it. And, that, you know, we talked about Corley had a great game, and David gave us some more stats here. Some of the receivers we, you know, we had over, I think, 300 yards passing in the air. Uh, the number five on our team, Sandrin, who had over 100 yards last weekend, had over 100 yards again, had 120 yards receiving again. <laughs> He's an outstanding freshman receiver. He's making a, a great move here. Uh, Got to give him credit here, Adam. Guys, I never, I rarely pick a player of the game. I want to throw one in there as well. The guy that may go overlooked tonight is Shane Lasher. He did a great job punting the football, flipping the field position. Kickoffs were always deep. He had a couple of kicks blocked, but that's okay. But for the most part, he gave uh, Coley and Long fields to have to drive on the, for most of the night. And Nixon on top yeah, of Nixon. that. Yeah, Nixon. That's who I meant. Nixon. Uh, yeah, Price Nixon. Yeah, yeah. Price with Nixon. That, with those great punts, I mean, he was putting a foot into those things tonight. Excellent job on his end. We're going to take one more break. When we come back, we'll talk with Victoria's head coach, Sean Cannon, about tonight's game. Part of the Renaissance Bank postgame report. Indians win it 30-3. to Back with more right after this. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle and the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24 7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. In Searcy, Arkansas, a young man says, I love you for the first time, but his girlfriend doesn't quite hear. In Franklin, Tennessee, a boy encounters his first pickle. And in Kyle, Texas, after a mission for tots, cousins realize they're a long way from Kyle, Texas. One day, many people, millions of orders. This is how we Sonic. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24 seven roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400. $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle. And a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. And welcome back one more time here to the Renaissance Bank postgame report. ICC wins it 30-3 to over Colin to move to 1-1 one one on the season. We're now joined in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth by head coach Sean Cannon. And coach, 33-win, uh, good bounce back after last week's performance. Just uh, before we start asking questions, give us your overall thoughts on the game. Yeah, you know, you, you look at a... <laughs> A short week uh, after week one, you know. I mean, typically, if you ever played a short week in ju junior college, you went from about week five, week six, week seven, and so the kids had a little bit of time to, you know, to to climb their bodies into, you know, to that grind of the season, you know. And when we played last week in a, you know, hot one of the hottest games I've ever coached in yeah. in 25 years, and I don't really think our kids really, you know, kind of bounded back until really probably Tuesday, you know. I mean, just far as you know, but for for us to come out. Been practice Monday, practice Tuesday, and walk through yesterday, you know, for the kids to come out and answer the bell. And, and here's the deal. I told them in the locker room, you know, I said, guys, I said, no matter what happens, I and so we, we kept breaking it down there on one, two, three, together. I said, we got to do it together. You know, just one, one, do your job together. And, I, and, I, and our, our football team play, played really well together tonight. And they picked up that 30-3 to three win overall. Now, we did pick our stars of the game. Uh, I messed mine up, even though, uh, but uh, we each had three individual stars of the game. So that usually means all three aspects of the game worked well tonight. Yeah. There were a couple of letdowns in special teams, but overall, 
you got to like where the team went from week one to week two. Yeah, we did. You know, and, and, and look, man, we, we, we lost some – some heck of a players, you know. Yeah. I mean, we, we Hearn being gone, I thought Antonio Thompson, God, as a freshman, come in and stepped up the way he played tonight. I mean, he took the ball away down here yeah. and had the sack there. You know, he started cramping up because he played every play, you know. And he said, Coach, I'm ready to go back in. I'm like, look, just be patient because I'm going to need you eventually. Yeah. And uh, he goes and gets a huge sack there, you know, toward the, that, that, that next to last drive that they had. But, you know, um, you, you, you look at our special teams, yes. You know, I mean, it, to, to lose our starting snapper, you know, last week um, to an injury, then, then our then our backup guy was gone as well, and and so it, it's still a work in progress, you know, and, and so we're 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 working our tail off, you know, to, to to get that unit better and everything, but you know that's the thing I went down and told Shane we're gonna need you, buddy, you know what I'm saying, and I thought he did a great job kicking off tonight and and and, and Nixon flipping the field uh, on, on some on some punts and stuff, and then you look at our offense, you know, we big played them, that was one thing that was huge right there, you know, and they, we took advantage of us giving them the ball and everything and then of course you know i think the nail in the coffin was when you know corley picked it off and you know scored that touchdown there for sure and coach, speaking we, of that coach uh what i was gonna say is uh corley of course you told me in the week you and i talked not little did i know that corley was your second string long snapper yeah. uh last week and he missed all of last week how big was it having corley back this week Look, amazing I, and i hate to say this but Today was the first day he put on a helmet all week. Uh, you know, had to cut on his eye, and the trainers kept him off with a helmet all week. So today was – we go out for pregames, first time he had a helmet on since last Saturday, you know, and to go out and play like that, you know. But if that, if that kid's not a Division One linebacker, I don't know what he is. I mean, the plays he made tonight and, and everything, and, you know, just just hats off to the kids in general for coming out and, 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 you know, on that short week and really coming in and, and getting after it tonight. Sean, you know, it's a line of scrimmage game. you got to have good effort from your defensive line, offensive line. I think I told you when you walked up here, and it's hard to believe, we had almost 600 yards total offense. Give credit to our offensive line. But I thought Dylan Falk handled the team outstanding tonight. He handled the ball away, took some big hits, made the passes that he needed to make. Wide receivers made the runs. I thought Dylan had a very solid game. He did. You know, and here's the thing about O-line now. We're down three bodies right now. I mean, Qdaris Hodges hasn't even played yet, you know. And then Gentry Turner, who played last week for us, you know, hadn't practiced all week. You know, and, and so we, we've got some key pieces out. I think once we get them back and get them in the groove that, that we'll eat, you know, we'll, you know, we threw out, throw, you know, a true freshman center there and look and give Colin credit. Their D-line was really good. Uh, and, uh, you know, but, but, but. Give the kids credit for at least keep fighting and keep fighting. And, 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 of course, you know, kind of our motto, I think, now is we're passing open up the run, you know. and, and, and but, but Dylan puts the ball where it needs to be put, makes it lets our receivers uh, make plays. And, 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 and when you give yourself a chance and don't turn it over, I don't think we had a turnover tonight again, uh, you know. And, and, you know, we look up and Dylan's up here in the top of the, of the country and passing right now. But look at what he's done the last three games he's played, you know, last year at Holmes and then these two years right here. I mean, it's as long as we can protect the football, and we keep taking away on defense, we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, and tell me, uh, Coach, talk about, too, because we, we've talked about it up here the amongst us, the wide receiver core that you have. I mean, we're sitting here going over numbers of these yards. Now, again, it takes a good quarterback to lead those wide receivers as well as get the ball to them. But, man, the things they can do with it once they get the ball in their hands. You know, a lot of fast guys. You know, that's, the you know, Chris and J.J. and those guys and, and, and Sangren. I mean, they, those guys can – you know, have, have have done a great job for us, and you give them guys just a little bit of room, and and you and you go the wrong way, or you over you over pursue them, they're gonna make you pay. You know, and and that's the thing I think they do a great job of is is, is making those yards after catch, and you know, and, and and the thing that they're you know understanding, that's one thing I've told the kids as well. We you know about playing together, you know, and that's the thing that that's that that's a group that all wants the ball, you know. And but I saw a lot of other receivers that wasn't getting that ball tonight. Some was going up and congratulating those guys, and that's 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 a good thing to see. Andy. Coach, we talked about, you know, turnovers. We hadn't had a turnover in the first two games. Tonight, I don't recall us having a penalty. We played very clean tonight. Did not have hardly any penalties. Good coaching there. I almost got one myself. You know, I was I was yelling at the referee, and the guy over to my sideline says, Coach, that wasn't a hold. And I said, what? You know, and, of course, he said, do you want 15? And I'm like, and so I went over there about two series later. I said, look, man, I said, I, I – I said, look, if I can't if I can't argue with a call, I mean, and you get all defensive about it, like, come on, man. I said, now we can agree, we can, we can agree to disagree. Well, that wasn't a hole. And I said, well, I wasn't even talking to you to begin with. Okay, 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 okay. You know, I mean, so, uh, but but I, no, I, I thought our kids played, you know, uh, 
played well tonight, and you know it was good to get that win and 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 to give them a, you know, give them a couple of you know forty eight hour break now. You know, come off Friday, come off Saturday, get back Sunday, and get ready to go for another uh, another home game. And coach, that was going to be my next question. Enjoy this, Kahoma. We open up division play next week, Kahoma. Uh, Split with us last year. It's odd to say split in the game of football because yeah. they never played each other twice. But last year was last year. Uh, still a very tough football team, and they're going to be ready to fire it up and come in to Fulton next week. Sure. And uh, one of the greatest things, too, we, we got another home game. That's one good thing. You know, it felt so good today to set the benches out on the sideline and put garbage cans out and, and chairs and all that stuff and then go right back in the building and sit in the office and wait till game day instead of having to get on that bus. So, so you know, the, the great crowd tonight, man. Band was loud. Man, I was I hardly could hear myself talk sometimes. But uh, great crowd, and, and I'm glad we gave gave the ones that, uh, that were here a great win. Andy is winning 30 to 3. Sean, thank you for coming up and talking to us Appreciate here. Appreciate it, guys. As we'll take one more time out and wrap things up here on the Renaissance Bank Post Game Report. ICC 30 to 3 winners over Colian. Back with more right after this. So, when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle and the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. Here we come. And welcome back one final time from Fulton ICC. Wins 30-3 over Colin to pick up the first win of the season. And guys, beautiful weather. Packed house, ICC All-American Band rocking. The cheerleaders into it, student section into it. ICC caps the night off with a win. It's always great to be an ICC Indian, but a night like tonight is a little extra special. No doubt about it. A special night. And, guys, enjoyed being with y'all tonight. Y'all carried me as usual. Appreciated David, Brad, and Adam. Y'all did a great job tonight. But it was a fun night, as you mentioned. First home game. Found a way to win. And another thing, we got two more home games on the horizon. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looking forward to the weeks to come build off this win uh, that we've got tonight. We've got another home matchup, like we say, next week, a big one with Oklahoma going in the north. But, uh, again, beautiful night. I can't say enough about everybody in the college atmosphere for what we've done. Yes, we won a football game tonight. We are excited. But the band was able to get out there. They were able to play tonight. They were able to be seen by their families, the cheerleaders. It was just a great collegiate atmosphere, guys. We were back in that collegiate atmosphere. College football is here. And, man, is it exciting. No doubt about it. We'd like to thank tonight's sponsors, Renaissance Bank, Davis Ford, the Sonic of Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, Little Caesars, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, First American National Bank, Cagle Life Center, the Bank of Oklahoma, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, along with the ICCBSU and Tommy Morgan real estate agent, Ricky Murphy. The Indians will be back in action next Thursday against Cahoma. The First American National Bank opening kick is scheduled for 630. The game will be available on Let's Go ICCTV.com, the Red Channel, and Super Talk Mississippi 101.9 FM, starting with the Davis Ford pregame show at 6 p.m. Remember, for updates on all 11 of ICC intercollegiate athletic programs, visit Let's Go ICC.com and follow Let's Go ICC on your favorite social media platform. So for Brad Boggs, Jim Ingram, uh, David Leathers, you had Will Simmons, Lee Adams, and Z Taylor, along with Stephen Knight, Kim Dill, and all, Kim Deal, and all actually the birthday girl Kim Deal. Make sure I get that in there. <laughs> and all the fine folks over there at Super Talk Tupelo, thank you for taking time out of your Thursday night to join us for this presentation of ICC Athletics. So long for Fulton, where your Indians pick up the 30 to three win over Colin. Have a blessed evening, and as always, roll tribe. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more. Like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24-7 roadside assistance, a cell phone protection plan worth up to $400, $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle, and a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank, understanding you. Member FDIC.